Hello everyone and welcome to the DDT English Recap. My name is Diego and Hello, the scoop all my gold. And today we are going to do the English commentaries. That's right. That's right. For the October 22nd Korakuen Hall. Yeah, what a Korakuen show it was. So let's have fun together and remember that there is only one place to see all those incredible matches. The DDT Union. Universe! Universe! Welcome to DDT Universe! I'm here with my friend Mike Bailey. Welcome to Japan! Thank you, Diego. How are you? I'm super fine. I'm so excited because I'm working with you. Oh. And today we have DDT special, the results of the DDT election. Right, so this is a thing DDT does every year to find out who the most popular wrestler is. They hold an election where the fans get to vote for their favorite wrestler. And this year, Damsha Fudino was the winner. Yes, number one. Oh, do you remember Mr. Murata and Mr. Suzuki? I do. Oh, they are here too. They are very well dressed as usual. Yes, as usual. So today, as you said before, Dino was number one. So that means that he's gonna face the champion. The champion? Uh, Takeshita Konosuke, who got number seven in the election. Seven, yeah. And do you know something? That Dino stole Takeshita's first kiss ever. Ever. Well, did he steal it or did Takeshita want the kiss? You will see that later. Uh, and also I'm, we I'm have Harashima out. in number two. Right, which I'm, I'm a bit surprised that uh, Takeshita got number seven since he's the champion. Yeah. And I know he's very popular, but Harashima being number two makes a lot of sense as well. He's been in DDT for a long time. For a long, and long time. I know the fans really, really like Harashima. And he got number two, so that means that he had the opportunity to get more whatever title he wanted, except the, the, the biggest one. And he chose the extreme title, so he's gonna face Sasaki Daisuke. Which makes a lot of sense, because I think a lot of people in DDT dislike Sasaki yeah. and Damnation? Yeah, because of their attitude, like their contrarian attitudes, and it would only make sense for Harashima to want to go for the extreme heavy metal weight championship. And also, it will be a special rule, TLC. That means? Tables, leathers, and chairs. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh my. And, but there is one rule that you can do the escape rope. So, okay. yeah, yeah, yeah. Rope breaks, yeah. Oh, yeah. And also, here we have a lot of guests for different promotions. That's that's right, it's a very special show. Yes, for example, we will have the Ultimo Dragon. We will have Abdullah Kobayashi from Big Japan and Suwama from Old Japan Pro Wrestling. So today it will be a super duper special show. Right, all these people potentially Japanese. If not, if there aren't already Japanese legends, they certainly will be eventually. I mean, Ultimo Dragon made his mark all over the world wrestling for all the biggest promotions. Yeah. Abdullah Kobayashi. Bayashi is a phenomenon in big Japan, having some of the big, biggest, roughest and bloodiest matches. Do you remember that in Sapporo he was eating the light tubes? He does, he eats <laughs> light tubes, he's like, I, I love him so much um, that it, it's always hard for me to watch him do the crazy things he does because he's just so adorable in the scariest way possible. <laughs> and now he, he did this Suzuki, uh, catch wrestling phenomenon. Yes, he, he is very one of the scariest. Yeah. Scariest submission and scariest ground game in, in all of Japan. Um, almost certainly in Big Japan. In Big Japan, and now he's a champion. He's a champion for a reason, yeah. And also we have Mr. Suwama, the master of the biggest last ride ever. Have you ever seen his last ride? I have not. I, I hope I get to see it in a bit. I hope to see it too. And also, today, car, it will be the opening match. Akai Saki versus Antonio Honda versus Abdullah Kobayashi versus Katsuma Tashuma and Mawan Cherry. Wow! Second match we have Takao Soma and Makoto Uishi versus Ultimo and Ultimo Dragon versus your favorite Washitoru, Washitoru Oka and Hirata. We have the third match. Tell me about the, the fourth match. Right, fourth match we have Akito who got number eight in the DDT election and Hideki Suzuki 
versus Yukio Sakaguchi, who ranked in at number 19, and Kazusada Higuchi. Yes, and also there is a special match, a single match, between Endo Tetsuya from Dan Nation versus Masa. And after that, we have the DDT Extreme title TLC match, Daisuke Sasaki against Harashima. Sasaki was number four. Number four. Wow. And also the main event, Konosuke Takeshita versus Dan Shogudino. I'm so excited to see this main event. Number one. Ah, we also forgot the, the single match, Ishii versus Suwama. Yes. And I want to see that match because there is a lot of history before that. Right. Uh, Keisuke Ishii started with All Japan. Yes. He was an All Japan fan. And he, do you know the reason that he started there? I do not. Be do you, have you ever heard about the four pillars of Japanese pro wrestling? Let me see if I can remember who they are. There is Kawada. It doesn't matter. You will say later because oh. the first match is going to start. Oh, Underboy. Okay. Underboy's match. Yeah, so it will be the dark match for this opportunity. So if I understand correctly, the Underboys, those are the runners up in the PDP general election. Yes. So the first one coming to the ring, it will be. I know this music entrance. It's Koki Iwasaki. You can hear the crowd cheering very loudly. Yeah. As if there were thousands of people and in the audience. And he will be tagging with Yuki Ueno. Both of them are from DNA Pro Wrestling. Do you know DNA Pro Wrestling? I do know, but could you tell me more about it? DNA Pro Wrestling is the from Oh, no! It was Uni with, 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 so sorry. It was Uni with, Uni, only nine years old. A nine-year-old wrestling prodigy, you. Wow, and he's tagging with Iwasaki. Great high flyer, yeah. big strike. Yeah, what a combination. Iwasaki has some of the most powerful kicks. In and he's getting bigger oh. and bigger. Always improving. Yuni, with his big high flying moves, dangerous cross body blocks on the top row by Boston Seasons. A lot of moonsault variations. Yeah, a lot of variations. Look at him running the second row like the Rey Mysterio. Yeah, it's like Rey Mysterio. And now the opponents, the opponents. Tell me about them. Do you know who are the opponents? I know that Super, super Sasadango Machine, seeing your grand title belt and trademark mask, is one of the most intelligent wrestlers in the UK. And is not only a professional wrestler, but a professional businessman as well. And he's very good at using PowerPoint. But PowerPoint champion. But there is no PowerPoint presentation today. Why? There's always a PowerPoint presentation. What happened today? Uh, do you know that he's a little bit sad? He's a little bit upset. How, well, where did he rank in the DP elections? Uh, maybe he was in the under one, uh, so he is not very happy about mm. it. So that's why today there is no PowerPoint. Right, and he is a popular wrestler among DDT fans. Yeah, so it's surprising he that he would rank so low. But, but not for this opportunity. Not for this one. And his tag team partner, Ueno Yuki. Yeah, I know he has a background in gymnastics. Yeah, he's, he's one of the most athletic wrestlers in DDT. Certainly. Probably the most athletic wrestler to come out of DNA. Yes, he's so athletic. And he used to be classmates with the champion. Yeah, that's right. In Osaka. So, here we have... What is this? Well, Yuli's getting the crowd behind him pretty quickly. And I mean, you can understand why. He's clearly the underdog here. He's the underdog. Everyone loves him. He needs the crowd's help. So we will see what happened. They're locking up for the first time. Oh, they start doing... Chain wrestling! Right, it would make a lot of sense that Uno would... Oh, look at his face! Poor Obviously you! A lot, a lot stronger and much <laughs> older. But than... do you know something? Oh. He's so quick. So quick. Very look at him. Whistles. Look that Whistler. Was so fast. You didn't expect it. Very precise. Ah, uh, but he reversed it. Into Hammerlock. Poor Uni. Come on, Uni, do it, do it. Switches behind. Oh, but See, reverses. I, I, I do think Ueno might be giving him a bit of a chance here. It feels yeah. like with the size difference, he could just... Oh, but, 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 no, no, he's, he's not just giving chances. <laughs> he's doing bad things. Throwing he's him taking over. the opponent's hair. <laughs> Whoa. Whoa. This is chain wrestling. Even break. 
Like I said, wrestling prodigy, nine-year-old uni, going toe-to-toe -to -toe with Yuki Ueno, much older, man, probably twice his size. Twice? And now he will have both of them wearing green. Sasa Dango Machin and... Yeah, they're saying, oh, what, the, what, what about you? You're wearing green. It's my color. No, it's yours. They're fight, fighting over the color green. <laughs> yeah. The ownership of the color green. All right, now they're in the, in the ropes. They should break. Yeah, follow oh, the rules. Oh, oh what It happens there? way too often in professional wrestling that people will take advantage of those breaks to get in an extra but slap But remember or punch. something, you have to follow the rules. Very important. That's why there is our referee, Kiso, trying to do their best. Being thrown now. Oh! oh. Both men clearly have the power advantages in this. Who is stronger? Well, I believe that Iwasaki, Iwasaki because Iwasaki's he's younger. There we go. Oh, stomps the foot. Okay. Oh, See, that's what I said about being smart. They were both evenly matched earlier, but then he he used the probably. It's not illegal. You're allowed to stomp your foot. Yeah, you're allowed to do it. Disloyal at worst. You're allowed to do it. He's very intelligent. Oh, one more time. Big He's tackle. taking control of his underboys match. Yeah, Iwasaki has not had the chance to throw one of his kicks yet. No, no kicks. But I believe that could make the difference. <gasps> okay. Oh, wow. All right, so now we have the biggest wrestler in this match against the smallest. With the smaller. The smallest wrestler in probably all of DDT. Come on, Uni. <laughs> Come on, Uni. You can do it. One more time. One more time. I really want Uni to be able to take him down. No, please do it, Uni. You can see on his face how much he's not enjoying this. Just like running into a concrete wall. Oh, God. Oh! oh. <laughs> Do you know that Uni, he was uploading every single day a video to, to Twitter? He was meeting every single DDT wrestler. I do, I follow him, I see him practice all the moves like a good, a good wrestler should. I mean, um, so, if, you're not, if you're not practicing your moves, you're <laughs> mm. Did you see that? He couldn't, re he, he couldn't reach the boot. <laughs> oh, what a, a drop kick. A bit of a low blow, but I think it's forgiven. It's okay. Oh, oh, one more time. But, but he's using the belt. This is my question. What is that belt made of? Is it metal? And if so, why is he allowed to wear it in the ring? No, that's not fair. <laughs> King of know. Sasadango Machine. Tags in the <laughs> What is he gonna Grabs do? Grabs the hair. Oh! He's taking advantage. Right, this is a rare side of Ueno that we're getting to see now. Grabbing the hair and stomping yeah, the Yeah, he, he's dark. always doing like very clean flat fights. He's usually a very honorable competitor. Oh! Right? What a backbreaker! He could have broken his back. Ooh! Kicked only two. two! Only two! Kicks out of two. A lot of heart by the young Uni. Come on, Uni, you can do it. Just moving him around with his foot. There he is using a size of Oh, come on! That is... It's, it's in the corner, you know? Right. Yeah. yeah. Come on, count. One, two, three, four. Correct. He has until five to until release the five. hole, or else he would get disqualified. I He's smiling, I believe five. he's enjoying this. Clear advantage. You rarely see people be this ooh, dominant. Ooh, ooh, ooh. What is coming? Oh, come on, Uni. Throw him up against the rope. What a head scissors! Yeah, so he's a very good luchador. He clearly watches a lot yeah, of Yeah, he's very good at lucha libre yeah. style. Oh first one, the There's first the kick, kick of the day. That makes the difference. We That's were waiting advantage. for that. That's the advantage Iwasaki has over everyone else in this contest, is those big strikes. Remember that I Iwasaki Koki, he, he, was a, he was training mixed martial arts at the gym, Power of Dreams. Oh, what a kick! So you can see how Ueno had to throw three elbows and a knee strike just to be able to match up with one of Iwasaki's kicks. Wow, what a kick on back. Right in the spine. In the spine, that hurts a lot. Iwasaki can kick you so hard, he can make your legs go down. But tell me something, you are a wrestler that uses a lot of kicks. What yes. do you think about Iwasaki ones? I think he is... Bigger than most martial artists, you would see he has giant legs. His kicks are not the most precise, but they are the hardest. Yes, I believe the same. Uh, he doesn't throw a lot of spinning kicks. No, or, no spinning or, kicks. Yes, maybe. Right. Um, 
a lot of just straight middle kicks and he likes to put his whole body into it, a lot of power into them and he uses them to set up big suplexes. Yeah, the, the one, did you see that one? He uses them to stop people right in their tracks, cut their momentum and then he throws them in the air backwards like he's trying to do here but when it lands on his oh, feet. Bueno. Then Wino stops him with a kick, but Whoa, again, nice. you can see the kicks are not as effective as Iwasaki's. But what a drop kick! What a drop kick! This is Ueno's strength, his athleticism, his gymnastics background, uh, his height uh, jump. Did you see that drop kick? Yeah. It was so beautiful, so beautiful. Right, it was when Ueno called it for his strength, his gymnastics background, his athleticism that he was able to match up with Iwasaki. And here's Sasanaga oh, with oh. his power. Did his you see strength, that lariat? Just took him down with one blow. I, him straight I down. told you, he's not happy today. There is no PowerPoint, so he's so mad. I give him the PowerPoint. Lariat. Off the top. Oh. Misses the knee drop. Wow, what a kick. Another one of those powerful kicks. Calls in uni for help. Did you listen to me? I said PowerPoint Lariat. PowerPoint Lariat. <laughs> Whoa, what a backdrop. And what is going to do? Going to the second rope. You told me before that he's always doing a lot of variations of high flying moves. Yeah. Oh, but no. Oh. Again, it's that wit, that smart, those strategies. Oh, what Sasanaga a missing drop kick and. Riemann shock. Vertical the drop, Riemann shock, shock. those super accessible elevation. Very confusing name, but. Yes. I would like to find out what it means. I would have to ask him, but it's indeed a very effective maneuver that he uses to put away in the factory. I, I really wanted to see Power Punch in this show. I hope to see in the next one, next Corrigan. Yeah, I believe there is a collective disappointment from all the DVD fans. Sasadago Machine doesn't have a Power Punch to show us because we always learn a lot. Um, a lot of these fans take notes yes, of the PowerPoint. Yes, there must be a PowerPoint. So there should always be always PowerPoint. You can see here Uni leaving very disappointed. <laughs> Ueno obviously bangs up in the last. Please remember to follow all your favorite wrestlers on Twitter. Remember that Ueno, Sasalango Machine, Uni, everyone is using it. Do you use Twitter? I'm on Twitter at SpeedballBailey. I follow Uni and I love to see what he's up to. See, please follow me, me. Follow me. <laughs> oh, give me a second. Yes. What about this guy? There is no afro. Did I, he must have got a haircut. No. Haircut. Do you know what happened? I do not. Remember that now the general man manager is Dan Shukadino. That's right. So he got fired. But now he's just working as an assistant. He got fired so he cut his hair. Yes. Now it's okay. like you disappear and now you're just working just as a human being. Mm. Yes. So no afro. No more funny hair. Do you remember Mr. Takayama? I do. He's saying that Mr. Takayama now, he, he's not able to move mm. from this area, from the, the neck below. So there will be the Takayama mania. That is a, like a charity for Yes. Her. So there, are, in every single show, you can buy official merchandising. Is there anywhere we can donate online? Yes, there is an account that you can find it on in the official website that is called takayamamina.gp. If I'm not wrong. I believe there's also a blog where you can yes, update the, some that, his that's condition the blog. and find yes. out where you can help Takayama, who's obviously a Japanese wrestling and mixed martial arts and legend. And I said before, here you, we have the t-shirt, the towel, and the caps. I believe a lot of people would recognize Takayama from his bout with Don Fry, yeah. who is one of the most uh, shared. You and, had the opportunity to have a lot of matches with him. Um, just one, actually. Uh, only it was, one. It was very memorable. It was an honor. I, I was a fan of him forever, and he, he is just the best. He's just one of my favorite. I. Uh, it, it was an, an honor to see him like before every BBP show, warm up very carefully and yeah. see his his method and what a dedicated athlete he was. And I've read a lot of stories online from other Japanese wrestlers trying to say how how hard he trained and how how motivating it was to be able to watch him. Yeah, I used to tag with him and it was very good learning experience. Yeah. So, also Imai Valley was saying that today this show will be transmitted online in Ameba TV, Samurai TV and DDT Universe. Imagine that, DDT is going everywhere. Right, DDT is constantly growing and, and 
I was getting new sponsors. Like, how many? How many? It's working with DDT and a collaboration T-shirt. How many? Have you ever been there? I have. They have some of the most wonderful clothes I've ever seen. A very interesting style. Very good of, design. If you are a wrestling fan, you, you will be proud. To you will love it. Now. It is located in Shibuya. So find it out. How many? Shibuya. I can't wait to go back. Wow! And here we have the Dan Shukadino number one. Number one, Dan Shukadino. P. What does the P stand for? P stands for producer. Producer. Ah, that's right. Not for P. P that P. <laughs> <laughs> for producer. Good. And the nation because they got number one as a team, as a yes. unit, as a table. And what is Sasaki doing? Touching his chest? I don't know. He's covering his face. Um, like you would when someone farts, so maybe someone <laughs> in the room has farted and he's taking a picture. And also, you can have the DDT special poster only for 500, 500 yen. yen. So, so good. With all the car and all the matches. Very beautiful poster indeed. Oh, do you remember that there were a photo book with Dime Nation, like with very sexy pictures? Mm, very like sexy Like Endo, pictures. Sasaki, with very hot ones. Endo has by far one of the best bodies in DDT. Yes, but now a shooting the you want to it. Mm. Looks like a With his looking very <laughs> menacing yet dreamy. It's like for it's like in a movie, like in a <laughs> oh, I can't wait to buy this. So it will be Shutendoi DDTPP photo book. Premium photos. As premium as they come. Yeah. And also, now we want to talk about all the shows that we will be running. So as you see, we have a lot of Korakuen Hall shows. Never mind. There will be a Damnation special, special show. And at the end of the year, we have the Happy New Year Pro Wrestling. Right, and next year in 2018, on the 25th of March, will be Judgment. Uh, DDT Ryogoku. Peter Pan, yes. Peter Pan, the biggest one ever. And if you want to have ticket, you can contact me. My email address is DNA Chulo. Yes, DNA Chulo. <laughs> At, <laughs> at uh, Gmail. 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 Good, very I good. I wrote that Hotmail. <laughs> That's too old. <laughs> <laughs> so I was <laughs> The tickets will go fast. They always sell out. It's yes. always a giant so, show, so please, please get them Please contact me. Wow, what about the Six Man Tag Team Championship? They will be all out versus Damnation. But Damnation? Uh, the members that will be conforming damnation in this opportunity will be will be Sasaki as usual. Yes. Ishikawa Shuji and Poli. Oh my God. So that means that it will be Akito, Takeshita, Diego versus Oh my God, Ishikawa. And how do you feel about that? Have you taken out Ishikawa before? Yes, I'm so scared. How did that go? How was your match? He's super today? strong. So I, I take it you lost that match? Yes, <laughs> it was only three minutes. <laughs> okay, well, but that was a long time ago, back when you were... So, hold on, Ishikawa beat Guanchulo, but could he beat Diego? No, That's because what I'm asking. who knows? Who knows? And also, there will be a collaboration show between a hotel and DDT. And here we have the towel that you will get a, as a present. Best Western Larry. Yes, the name is Hotel Tokyo Machida. And then you have a little cute Danchuku Dino sticking his tongue out and winking. Yes, so remember that it's in a hotel, so you can have very good food while you're watching the wrestling. Very classy professional wrestling. Yes. That's what DDT brings. It's not all. <clears throat> so let's continue. Yes, what do we have next? Look, we have here. Have you ever seen that we have some sponsors in the corner? Yes, I have. Yes, it's from Ring Dream, that is a video game. And now the, the person in charge of Ring, Ring Dream is going to the ring. Maybe we have some good news. Oh, very well dressed man. Nice uh, look at that shirt. It's from Takayama Minya. Oh. 
So he supports you, Mr. Takahino, as we all are. Why he's wearing sunglasses? <laughs> um, I, I'm guessing the lights in Karakan Hall are too bright for yeah. some people. So he, he's trying to explain the reason, but he doesn't care. So doesn't let's continue. Care. He was saying, it's by my eye. No, let's continue. Well, now I'm disappointed because I disagree and I would like to know why he's wearing sunglasses. It doesn't matter. <laughs> So, let me explain. We have this video game and there are some DDT wrestlers that are there. What is the video game called? As I said before, it's called Ring, Ring Dream. Dream. Correct. And, for example, we have Takeshita, but in a cute version. Huh? As a girl. You mean cuter? Cuter version. Cuter version. <laughs> already, and now, for example, good. look, here we have Endo ones. Oh, as a, as a girl. And there is a girl. Yes, yeah, so sexy. And there is Matt Pauly. <laughs> so for this opportunity, it Endo. will be Endo. Look at him, so sexy. You can play with him as a character. Very good. Very important. Uh, so we're talking about Damnation. So with Damnation, there must be... This person, Sasaki Daisuke. Wow. wow, looks so rude. <laughs> very, looks very angry. Yeah, like <laughs> in an arousing way. It's a, it's a good look. But the, when when they showed this to the to Sasaki, Sasaki said, "But I want to be blonde, and I want bigger, you know, boobs." <laughs> right. As we know, Sasaki has explained before that he. He's attracted to blondes such as Joey Ryan's, Ryan's. wife. And, all, and this is the other version. This is the other version. <laughs> yeah, yes. with it's big ones and blonde. <laughs> okay, this is the Sasaki custom special. So you have two patterns. You can have the normal one and the Sasaki version, like with big ones. Okay, and you can choose. Okay. I, Which I, one do you prefer? I know that you prefer Endo ones. I do prefer Endo's one. Um, they're, they're all very good. Oh, in the middle, who is that girl? It's Cherry. It's Cherry. But, I did not a, but younger. But, yeah, a lot, a lot younger. <laughs> a lot younger. How old is she? She's like 43 now? I don't know. I don't 40, think 42. I don't think it's polite to reveal a lady's age. But she's always saying it. And she's, she? Yes, and she's so proud. Oh, good then. So, there will be a collaboration show with Ring Dream and DDT. And there also will be a band there. And and they have been doing this show for three years in a row. So they have been working together for a long time. Good, so they're probably planning something very interesting. It will be in an amusement park. Amusement park to wrestling. And that is on the 16th of December. Oh, he's saying that... Do you like candies? Candies? Yes. Yes. Because on that show, they're going to give free candies. Be Ooh. And this will be for free. Free candy and pro wrestling. Wrestling and a live show. Imagine that. You cannot miss this. That sounds amazing. There's always one there will thing be, that's missing. There will be candies, there will be cookies, all for free. Yeah, every time I'm watching wrestling, I, I, always, I always enjoy the... Like, on top of being a wrestler, I'm a huge wrestling fan, but I always want candy. There must be candy, and there in this show, candy. it will be free for you. <laughs> There's no better candy than free candy. And he's saying that it will be free, and they will throw the candies like... Oh, <laughs> so <laughs> maybe bazooka candy? <laughs> bazooka candy would be great. And there's all kinds of methods for shooting it, possibly some sort of crossbow. Um, so there will, there will, sorry, there will be band, pro wrestling, video games, and candy. <laughs> what a show! <laughs> that's a lot, that's a lot of options. And hopefully, that, that, that version of Sasaki that they showed, I would, I would much prefer that to the real Sasaki. So there will be there will be like a tournament and different matches at different arena, the different cap. That's right, with teams from Noah Zero One and Freedom as well as DDT. Um, 
Konosuke Takeshita and Wendo Yuki, who we just saw in the first match yes. off, we're looking at right now, who we have, they'll be participating on it. And I read that he found out through Twitter that he was going to be participating in yeah. the Cup. Yeah, maybe he's going to explain that now. Uh, hopefully he does. I hope I didn't step too far out ahead of him. But. Uh, so he's saying that he's so happy to be in this deferred cap. But when it was decided, as you said before, he didn't know it. So he, he was using Twitter, he saw his picture, and he was so surprised. Why did he didn't tell him first? <laughs> Maybe they wanted to keep it a surprise for him. Yeah, like a like secret. Or maybe it's DDT style. <laughs> <laughs> so it will be Takeshita Konosuke, Konosuke with him. Yeah, they're, they're two of the hardest workers in DDT, so I mean, I can't, I can't hardly think of better people to represent. So remember, the classmates, the friends from Osaka will be together. Oh, your name, they will be Mike Bailey versus Ishimori in a single match. That's right. Oh that. my god. It means it means so much to me that DDT um, would, would would trust me with this to represent them and to to, to carry DDT with me to beat Ishimori, whom I'm a big fan of. I have been for years. Um, I remember his matches in the long ago when he teamed with Ibushi. Yeah, I remember that one too. And when, when he was teaming with Kenta too. Well, talking about very good wrestlers, here we have Ishii-san. Ishii-san. Yes, and he will hail his own show at Tokorosawa, that is his hometown. That will be on the 22nd of November, correct? Yep. Very exciting to see what he has in store. It's always, it's always very interesting when a wrestler gets to take over and become producer and have their own show. Yes, your own show. All the responsibilities on your shoulders. I can't wait to see what but Ishii has I believe that that show will be awesome. So let's wait for the card. I think that it will be incredible. Um, Ishii is a crazy person, and you wouldn't think so much from seeing him in the He doesn't have a, 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 as colorful a character as some of the other wrestlers, but he is a mad person. And yes, I'm sure is. the show will reflect that. So today, we have a lot of matches, but we have two very important ones. We have Harashima versus Sasaki Dai Daisuke in a TLC hardcore match. So chairs, tables, ladders, and also we have the main event. Who is in the main event, sir? Konosuke Takeshita and Danshaku Dino, the future versus the icon, number one versus number seven, the most popular wrestler in DDT. And remember that Dino is a DDT icon, it's like he is DDT. He is DDT. He is one of the most unorthodox competitors in all of DDT. He has been around forever and he has made a name for himself all over the world. Have you ever been kissed by him? I have. I have been kissed. I have been groped. I have, <laughs> I have kissed him. We have we have been tagging together, yeah? We tagged together, we fought many times. In fact, when me and Takeshita were, were tag yeah, team champions, we were tag team champions. We faced off against Dino and, and Ishii Ishi. yeah. in, in a match that was I... Was it Sapporo? Uh, no, it was not Sapporo. Hakata. Hakata, yes. Yeah, 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 yeah. I remember the main event. You can see that main event where? It's on the DDT Universe. On DDT Universe, the only place to... To, to see all the DDT contents. And man, D Dino has had some of the craziest matches in DDT. His Ano Explosion death match. Oh, do you remember that one? I remember it very well. Um, Saitama Super Arena. Yeah, against, against Joey Ryan. He's had a long and storied feud against Danshiku Dino. Yeah. And some of the most. some of the least family friendly professional wrestling you could ever see. What is your favorite dance in the hmm. You know, for all the, the, the strange tactics he uses in mind games he plays, and I think his Gato Clutch, Gato Clutch is so effective. Su surprisingly effective. He wins a lot of matches with it. He doesn't. He <gasps> Talking about Mr. Producer Dan Shogodino. Very important man, you can see him wearing a jacket because he's the producer. Yes, of he course. Has to dress like one. No, no afro, though, he did not take Amon San's afro. But he has his very carefully bleached blonde hair, looking very good, very well kept. 
as usual. His trademark white and white paint and blue boots. <laughs> what a sir. <laughs> Just look at him. Truly amazing. Truly amazing. Now he's talking about the main event and the title match. He has to be feeling it. And also, in this show, at the end of the show, there used to be a rock, scissor, and paper tournament. Tournament. Hmm. So the winner also will get a title opportunity for the next Korokan Hall show on December. Right. But for this show, there won't be that tournament. Oh, no rock, paper, and scissors. Very, I'm a bit disappointed by that, but why not? Because now he's in charge and he does whatever he wants. And there is another reason. Because maybe the opening is decided for the next DVD show. Well, I'm excited to find out who it could be. I wonder if we'll find out soon or later. Or it's so, on December, Korokan Hall show. Who would Dan Shikuryu choose to wrestle? Who in the blue hell? Who in the blue hell? I remember that one, I explained that tournament yes. with Endo maybe four years ago and I won. But it was only the explanation. Oh, okay. <laughs> but you didn't win the tournament. <laughs> Do you know that DDT, in DDT, there are a lot of titles? Yes. We have the Tag Team, Extreme, Six Men, the Iron Man, King of Dark. The King of Dark. But there is one that is the 10 Man Tag Team Champion. Correct, that was won for the first time at the last year of the Q show. But they haven't defended yet. No. So, maybe they will defend it on the next Corbin Hall show that will be held on December. That's right. I believe DDT is the first promotion ever to have a 10 man ever. tag team. But imagine that it's so difficult to, to gather all the wrestlers. Right, and the team who, who won it is quite colorful, just a big assortment of different wrestlers. Yeah, um, it's like a mixed. So now Mr. Dan Shokopi will do the opening and he will explain something very important. What imagine it? here you have all your negative thoughts. And you punch and them. And then you punch them. Punching the negative. All the bad things, you punch them. All right, so I will be doing that right now. All I will do it too. So all the bad things that you have, yeah, you do at home. Swing your, your, your arm. I'm swinging my arm right now. And, and there we are. Start! Destroy all the bad things. Yes. That's, that's what, good. What a message. That's what these are This is not only pro wrestling. あ、本当だ。シングルで負けてる。はい。次は青を
オープニングマッチ勝俣駿馬マオシェリー VS 赤井咲希アントニオ・ホンダアブドーラ・小林第2試合大橋徹大川健平田和樹 VS 高尾相馬大石誠ウルティモ・ドラゴン第3試合坂口幸雄樋口勝貞 VS アクト鈴木秀樹第4試合スペシャルシングルマッチ石井圭佑 VS スワマ第5試合スペシャルシングルマッチ高梨正宏 VS 遠藤哲也セミファイナル DDT エクストリーム級選手権試合 TLC マッチ挑戦者原島 VS 王者佐々木大輔メインイベント KOD 無差別級選手権試合挑戦者男色 D の VS 王者竹下幸之助2017年10月22日東京後楽園ホール DDT スペシャル2017そう、レッツコンティニューウィッドフィルスマッチ。フィルスマッチのアクトルメインショー、DDT スペシャル2017 and here we have the idols from NWA but there is a new a new member a new member is there no what is that what is oh it's cheery is she gonna sing as well let's see maybe and remember to follow all your favorite wrestlers on twitter such it, dreamy voices so it will be katsumata shunma mao and cheery yeah my heart melts every time dancing ah she's dancing too i'm not sure she knows the rules though it seems just a bit confused But she's doing her best. s t r i n g h a r d that's all we a r e And now, NWA is singing, We Are the Heroes. Yeah, Mao, who is often my t a g i n g partner. Yeah, he's very good combo. Very good, I love Mao, he's great, as usual. Better at, at, I'm not sure if he's better at wrestling or singing. He's great at both, actually. Because they're in NWA. NWA. And, and Katsuma Tashima, we're in the red one. What is she doing? She's dancing, she's, just, she's feeling it. She's yeah, but it that、up. is no the, the, no, the real that's dance. Fine. She's doing great, look at it. Oh, it's <laughs> sexy moves. What kind of dance? She's giving you an air high five. There we go.、Mm, I don't like it at all. <laughs> she doesn't even know this dance. She just got it, she's got the moves, she's got the, the vibes in her already. Yeah. <laughs> whoa, 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 whoa. She almost got hit by Lucy. And we are the heroes! Okay, not the、oh, I like this part of the dance. Do you know this dance? Yes, of course. Do you know who else knows it very well? Who? Uni. Young Uni can be、ah, doing this yeah, dance. Yeah, exactly. Uni. Awesome. Uni too. Posted a lot of videos on his Twitter of him dancing. And the NWO pose、oh, with no, Cherry. Do you know something that Cherry. <laughs> Cherry, she's <laughs> the same age as Katsumata's mother. <laughs> wow, Katsumata's mother must be so young. <clears throat> Mao with the purple. Katsumata appealing to the crowd with the red one. He, he is one of the favorites. Yes, everyone. He's the leader, that's why. Known for his rugged, handsome, good looks. <laughs> And in that way, always energetic. What about the opponent? Okay, now I'm, I'm very, very excited by Oh, Antonio.、Team. Antonio Honda, yes. Akai Saki. I'm from Big Japan Pro Wrestling, the tag team champion, Abdullah Kamayashi. A very, very scary man. We were talking about him, yeah? Yeah. Antonio has a very, very strong competitor. I like his style. 
He does. He, he's a very solid wrestler. Very, very solid. A very lot of solid. submissions, but likes to play around the mid. And what about, about his punches and bionic elbows? Awesome. Well, I know that one of his favorites is Dusty Rose. And now yeah. here we are. You can see a Buu Kobayashi. A lot of battle scars. His many, Look many at his death body. He's a big Japan. He he's the blood rainmaker. The blood rainmaker. He From the big Japan for wrestling. I've seen this man fall headfirst onto concrete blocks. Oh, do you remember that match? Yes, oh. I do, sadly. All things I would never do. Why? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I guess I'm just not. Well, not look, as look, look at his body. How many scars do you think I you can would find guess, there? Uh, Two thousand. Twenty thousand complete. Twenty thousand yeah. scars. Oh, this is very respectful. I told you, pro wrestling. We have to do the handshake. Right. They, they are. <clears throat> they're a lot older than them. They've been wrestling for a lot longer than them. So that's what you do. You offer respect. Of course, respect. And, and it will be Cherry versus Kaisaki. Okay, very interesting pair to start off with. Well, we'll see what happens. Cherry has a lot of experience, obviously, in wrestling for yeah. a long time. Saki Akai, very dangerous with her Rookie of the Year award. And, and, and her kicks are very hard, too. Very hard kicks. Her Yakuza kick. Member of Shokun Doji. Yes. Obviously, whoa, whoa, well versed in martial arts. Whoa. But she's taller, come very on. Very tall. She's very tall. Oh, she's making fun of her. Ah, stopping the foot. Stopping. <laughs> very good strategy. Relentlessly trying to just break her toes. She grabs her hair. Come on. There we are. There are those strikes. Oh, oh she, she had a punch. Back. Oh, oh, I told you. There's a big kick. I Very told you kicks. the Yakuza kick. Whoa, what a suplex! What a beautiful bridge! Bridging exploder, wow. Only two! Very underrated wrestlers, Cherry. Yeah. Always has some big powerful moves, some excellent submissions. But what does. about that punch? It was so hard. Just punched her right in the face, and here is Katsumata. And Katsumata with a drop kick. Katsumata, a lot of drop kick variations. Knows how to use two. his whole body into big jumping kicks. And the third one. I is he's going for the fourth? Wow! Four, Four drop, drop kicks. kicks. So effective. And it's over. One, two. Oh, very close. This early three match, that all. Oh, it was away. three. I've taken a lot of drop kicks from Katsumata. So hard. They do not feel good. Um, as you, you wouldn't expect them to, <laughs> but. Um, Mao is saying, I'm gonna hit this girl with my new fist. Punches her right yes. in the head. And he's laughing, making fun of her. Mao is a black belt in judo. Yes. You, so using punches here may not be his best strategy. Maybe not good strategy. He should stick with grappling. But he's having fun. Oh! <laughs> it's kind of maybe broke a tooth there. Stops with the kick. Oh, he's what a boot. Into the boot! Right into the face! Which would attack Tyson Kobayashi. Kobayashi is coming! Everyone is expecting this. Kobayashi with a big manly mustache. <gasps> Whoa! Sling blade by Sling Kobayashi. Blade. Oh, have you ever seen this before? I have. I know that he's doing that. Yeah! With a beautiful shiny whistle. <laughs> oh, wow. Hurt Mao's knee. Oh, what is he doing? What is he doing? He's jumping. He's fixing his belt. No. No, he's taking off his... Whoa, 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 whoa. whoa, whoa. What Black is trunks. Black trunks. The hat. The rope. That means that it's not Kobayashi anymore. It is Stan Kobayashi. Stan Kobayashi, master of the Western Larga. But sometimes Eastern because he is right handed. Uh, yeah, look. <laughs> the other hand. We? Oui? Oh, no. no, he's saying youth. Is Mao going to die? No, oh, he counters with a drop kick. What a Good. beautiful drop kick. Oof. I was very scared I would lose my partner for a second. And Katsumata is going to the top. Other big drop. Whoa! What? Does he take him down? No effect. No effect. Is he gonna. Oh! oh. 
You were thinking about the lariat? Almost, I got really oh, scared. Oh, finally! Anthony's coming! I was waiting for this! I was waiting for him! The crowd is always behind no. him. No. <laughs> he trips, he does trip a lot. No, what happened here? A very clumsy individual. He's ask asking for the mic. He's asking for the mic. Right, and now you will have to tell us what the I will. Is I want to give up, but... But I haven't been in this match. I haven't been in this match. So let me tell you something that I, I thought yesterday. It is a, a horror story. A horror story? Yeah, a very scary one. He likes to tell a lot of stories about Yeah, because Halloween. Gone the little fox from Hitsune. So it will be Sadako versus Kayako versus God Kitsune. So it's like a horror movie, like a Japanese horror movie, like The Ring. Who is Sadako? So Gokitsune said, today I will fight Sadako. I'm Sadako. And Sadako is singing. What is singing? And now Kayako, come here, I'm gonna face you. And Kayako is singing too. So it will be a free match. Just wait too of you. Wait, wait. You are Sadako Kayako, but... But you are not Sayako Kayama? Boom, go to Tsune. Who is Sayako Kayama? I, I don't, don't get it. Red in the eyes. Oh. Stop. Oh, the other way. Oh, no. He stopped and he, he did the... But I really wanted to, to see that go to Tsune. The trademark Turkish wolf kiss. That you Imagine can't do everywhere. Sadako Very Kayako and Goku Tsune in a three-way match. And Bionic Elbow, oh. Casadona, out of nowhere. One, two, and a stomp. Oh. Honda taking too much time with the trivia. Ooh, that's only the two. Katsunaka just cut him right off for the pinning combination. Put 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 Is he going for that? Oh, Springboard, drop just, kick? No. Oh. It's counter with a big counter. punch to the stomach. Antonio oh, Honda likes to punch people in the stomach. Yes. One of his big trademark maneuvers is just a big right hand. Oh, right what a body slam. And what is going to happen now? Stan? Stan Kobayashi? Is going to do? Oh no. Big wow, elbow. what an elbow. Probably 300 pounds dropping down behind that elbow. Oh, but Cherry saves at the last second. But Cherry outside, bye bye. Going outside. See you later. Two bigger wrestlers just easily flinging him to the outside. They're going to keep control of the cuts. Oh wow, he's going to the top. Is he going to fly? Big tag team maneuver. Maybe a top rope western area? Wait, no. wait, 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 wait. I shit the mask. Have you ever listened to that before? The, that one, that wrestler, yes. I, I, I don't know. You know the one. I probably should, but it's strange I don't, but now he's just Whoa. taking chops into everyone. Big elbows to the head. What an elbow. Oh, no. We were waiting for this. Those 12 to 6 elbows are illegal in mixed martial arts. Here. Oh, but he hit his partner. Uh-oh, this could mean the end of them. He gets chopped in the neck And Michinoku's painting kick. And Katsumata is taking the... Katsumata City Nantodai maneuver. Shinwasa is a new maneuver move from Katsumata. Katsumata Shiki Dantodai. Gets the victory with a big spinning knee drop right onto Antonio Honda's head. So first, the Michinoku spinning kick from Mao. Then, the Katsumata rolling knee drop. What a combination. It's a very good chemistry between the two members of the game. And don't forget Cherry. Cherry, she was there. They would have lost if she hadn't broken up. That yeah, at the last that second. Run. At the last second. Very good team of Honda, Kobayashi. I, I will ask Antonio about this story about Sadako Kayako versus Koji Antonio Honda is a man of a million stories. Always a new one. <laughs> All his story stories about the, the last one. It was about the Evangelion. Do you know the anime called Evangelion? I've heard of it. Yes. Yeah. So he did a story about Evangelion. The other way, the other day was Dragon Ball. He's always doing very good stuff. Let's continue. Wow! The next match will be with no touch Lucha Libre style rules. Ah, the Mexican style of pro wrestling. I guess I love you. Who's coming? You know this guy. 
the person in charge of Gamba de Pro Wrestling. Ken Oka. Ken right. Oka. And you weren't here in Japan, but they're not used to me. Ken Oka lost all his money. I, I heard about that. I heard <laughs> he's not doing very well. No, again. Sasaki, now he's rich. He took all the money. Sasaki is the kind of person where you just try to ruin a man's life. Like, yeah, he's a poor financially and his career. And... So, we have Owashitoru and Oka. Please follow them on Twitter. Owashitoru well, always very serious. The man versed in the art of Lucha Libre. And, and he used to be in Mexico. in Mexico, yes. And do you know that Oka, he was there too? Not in Mexico, but he was part of the Ultimo Dragon gym. Totally. Yes, like, but he gave up. <laughs> he ran away before yeah. his debut. Very sad story. But it worked out for him in the end. He's now the owner of Gampro. Gampro, Gambare Pro Wrestling. He wrestles in his trademark team, Blue Jean. But look, like, watch this, looking at him, like, what are you doing? <laughs> look at his face. Watch what she always has that. A face that a father would give it, uh, to his son when his son is doing something he didn't understand at all. <laughs> yeah, I know that face. He seems very confused by a lot of people's actions. He's a very serious, focused man. Whoa, 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 whoa. Bad communication, that's the name. That's the name of this trademark song. So they will be... Only two of them? No, they're only member missing. And we have only Owashi and we have Oka and who is the only member of this? Uh, one of the most one of exciting competitors in DDT. He loves to dance. But now I know that this is your favorite DDT music entrance. It is. I love to sing it. Every single I time you hear it. Now is your opportunity. I will refrain for now. Oh, yes, Takao Soma. This is going to come out. Always in the red. Always exciting. That's right, very flashy color. A man who likes to draw attention to himself. Wearing a peacock on his coat. Oh, oh! This is the third member of NWA is yeah. not in the match, but he was singing and dancing. And here we have Takao Soma with that beautiful gear. Looking very serious as usual. They marked red hair, all red all over. Is that a phoenix? I don't know. Is it a phoenix or a phoenix? I don't know. I think that it is like a phoenix. Hmm. Very confusing. We have to find out what, which bird is on the Yes. That's a sack I was cooking. It is clearly a bird. Yeah. That, that we're sure of. We, we will ask him. Gold on the inside. And Takao Soma. Gold is for the money, and that is for something else. I'm not sure. <laughs> and what about green? I don't know. How about there will be Takao, Makoto, and the other member. Who is the other one? Well, teaming is Takao. I know. He's a luchador, but he's from Japan. He's one of the most legendary guys ever. You know him. Oh, the guy who is doing... Yes. One of my favorites. One of the best weapons. Ultima Dragon, the headmaster of Tony Moon Wrestling School. Is that responsible for bringing a lot of the Yes, look, look at him! Even holding a sombrero. With separados. Separados. The music entrance. Separados. The Ultimo Dragon. What a beautiful mask. Yeah, in light blue, one of his patented colors. He invented the art of one of the light blue. I know, and also, what is the name of his finishing look? The Asai DDT. What a beautiful name. So, here another very colorful coat. Yeah, very nice colorful. 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 Ultimo Dragon. I like that mask. I need one. Yeah, I will buy one maybe. 
Maybe. I think you can buy one. You can, you can probably find one. I'm sure he has a website. Yeah, I, I would try to find it on FollowYourOltimoDragon.com. Maybe. <laughs> I'm guessing. What is happening now? Whoa! Big hug. To his hands. Whoa! That's very kind. Gives this lady a hat. I know. Do you see Mexico? Mexico is in his hat. <laughs> I have heard that he's very good at, at the Spanish. But I didn't have the opportunity the chance to talk with him. We spend a lot of time in Mexico. Mexico. Yeah. yeah. He's wrestled all over the world, literally all over the world, all five times. Being the biggest country. Stepping into the Is this world. his first time in the I believe that it's the first time ever. Very interesting. Look at the DVD debut. I'm seeing it right here. Take off his cape. So, as I said before, he used to be the headmaster of Torino Wrestling School, and Oka was there, Kowashi was there, and the guy that is coming was there too. But he wasn't Torino, but he was connected to that kind of pro wrestling. Who's coming now? Who's coming now? Azuki Hirata, the master of dance. That's right, using a very famous song that may or may not have been used by Japanese wrestlers before. <laughs> but this version is sings by himself. Yeah. Do you remember that you did it too? I did, I sang it, it was the most fun I ever had in a wrestling room. Tokyo! The original version is sang by the great John Rock. But look, look, look at Owashi, he's saying. Faster, faster! Ultimo Dragon is here! Oh, he kicks his own partner! Because he hits him with a boot! Oh yeah. no! So this happens... Everyone! Everyone! This has happened before, where Owashi gets mad at Hirata. Even though they team together yeah, all the time. But look at Ultimo Dragon, he's not understanding what is happening Even now. Even Ueno coming in, <laughs> kick in the back of Hirata. Everyone! Everyone! Living what does right it to... What happened? Ultimo Dragon is here. Oh! oh. <laughs> Far now joining in on the Join in the party. Very hard kicks. Oh, oh, what happened? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, no. He looks sad and angry. I can understand why. Because you are. What are you in the blue hill? <laughs> <laughs> Only Ultimo Dragon jump. Only. Okay, now please tell me. He stomps the floor and then everyone jumps. Yeah, everyone jumps. I've been a part of this. Yeah, I, I have been part of this. I, I jump all the time. But what happened? Holy, whole team of Dragon did it. I don't know. I don't know. I so honestly, everyone is making fun of him. I only jump to do like everyone, but I don't even know why I jump. Why do people jump here? I don't know. <laughs> it's a mystery. Well, we're it's a mystery. mystery. It's a mystery of Hirata. <laughs> A very but did you mysterious see that? dancing man Hirata now getting stomped down by Oishi. Did you see that the only one who jumped was the ultimate dragon? Oh, what an elbow for him. Now Oishi, an accomplished amateur wrestler, I believe in his college days. Oh, oh, first time ever. Ultimate dragon, that's right. The headmaster of Torimon Pro Wrestling. Wow, what a chop! Big chop. Ooh. That is trying to explain that no, no, it wasn't my fault, it wasn't my fault. I always apologize, I would too if I were in his situation. And he made the man jump when no one else did. What an elbow! You can see how well he moves, that yes. man who's been wrestling for a lot of experience. Ever yet seemingly in great shape. What? Doesn't have any visible injuries. Ooh! It floats over to the back. Now Hirata's elbow takes him down. Oh! What is he gonna do? He's gonna do the classic Mexican head scissors? The trademark head scissors. What a beautiful move! That is Lucha Libre. Lucha Libre, Ultimo Dragon Star. Now tags in Takao. Takao Sona is in the ring now. Maybe he's gonna show some Lucha style too? Now Takao and Hirata, they faced off many, many times before. No, no Lucha style, just a single Boston crab. Hirata crawls towards the road, has to make his escape. Do you know that there is a connection with Takao and Ultima Dragon? 
What is it? That Takao, he used to be a student in pro wrestling, or like amateur pro wrestling. Yes. And he used to do a, a character that was called Bima. 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 It was in mid, mid copying Sima. So Sima means from from the the, the, right, the Sima, one of the like students. students. So that there is a connection. <laughs> it's what not that deep, but. <laughs> Yeah, right. Ultimate Dragon has a lot of very famous students wrestling in Japan. Apparently, Sima being the most famous. Yes. Bima. Um, Taka, one of the most athletic competitors in DDT. In a team with Harashima, formerly. Yes, they're part Yasu of the. Yasu Urano. Yes, now, Yasu Urano, too. They're part of the Smile Squash. Also, Akito, who is now. From All Out. One of your partners. Yes. Big head oh. Hirata. Hirata, he, he's fist up in the air, punching yes. all the negative, ne negative. Ne negative. It was like <laughs> lucha. Do you remember that the lucha rules? But 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 what? Focus here. The tags were not necessary, but he, 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 wrestlers he, he, are still respectful and they prefer to wait to prefer their turn on the apron. But do you notice that there is lucha libre rules, no touching? But Hirata was like. Waiting for the attack. Which was his his choice, an artistic decision made by Hirata. An artistic decision? <laughs> yes, he is an artist, a dancer. <laughs> yeah. The Tokyo Go Master artist. Kamikaze from Oka. Ooh. That means that the fire spear is coming. Fire spear. Getting the crowd behind him. Getting everyone excited. The underdog, Oka Ken. Whoa! No, it's fire spear. It's running. Oh! Stops the spinning elbow. A spinning elbow again. He gets it. Taka was taking a lot of people down with that. The last, the previous Korok and Cole show was incredible. It was Okaken versus Takeshita versus Asaki Daisuke. It was an incredible, incredible main event. I don't have a hard time. What is this lucha style? <laughs> Oh, no. oh, he's showing to the master, Ultimate Dragon, that he's able to do Lucha style. Is he going to be able to do it though? Is he seems in a bad predicament here? Grabs whoa, whoa, people. Mascaras! What Mascaras attack? And he's... <laughs> <laughs> Look hey. at that face just staring down Ultimate hey, Dragon. Hey, hey, Ultimate Dragon, I can do Lucha Libre too. Very menacing. Come on here, come on baby, come on, come on. Are we going to have a Lucha Libre style so, standoff now? Lucha Libre in DDT Pro Wrestling Japan. But chops up with a big chop. Those overhand chops, very Mexican style. Yeah, Mexican style chops. The knife edge horizontal chops. Wow. The Japanese thing. Yeah. Oh, taking him down. La Magistral. La Magistral. I know that La Magistral is coming. No! He stops him. And now he's gonna do the Magistral. I what? That what happened? What? Something is happening. He's gonna do the magistral, but but no. But Hirata is interrupting him. Ah, Hirata! Come on, Hirata! You are always doing the same thing. They have issues as a tag team that I believe they need to work out every time they have a match. He's saying, please, I really want to fight more. I want to, to fight against Ultimate Dragon, please. Every this time. is my chance. Every Owashi. time this happens, they need to work this out. They need to see a couple of therapists. Please, maybe. Owashi, give me the time. I want to be here. And everyone wants to see this. this. Match. <laughs> Ultimate Dragon is saying, please go, go. Right, if I were Ultimate Dragon, I would use the same strategy. Yeah, it's easy. Hirata has taken a lot more damage than what she has, so of course you're going to go against Hirata. And he's charging in a particular way, going to the ropes. Oh, what a beautiful look. He runs into a job. <laughs> Ultimate Dragon, I believe, saw it coming. And now in comes Oishi. Okay, go finish. Okay, go finish. Choke slam and just behind them. Oh! Okay, now tell me just what happened here. Now Hirata's using his stronger finishing move. Right, and I don't understand how this happens, but every time he just hits wow. the ground, I just pass out. Yeah, you, you pass out because it's like a, a special karate. <gasps> As I did it, oh, the ultimate dragon! Wow! Did you see that? The ultimate dragon is laying down unconscious and just strikes a nerve. 
and your brain just shuts oh. off. Wow, Hirata is taking control of this match. I remember last time this happened to me. I woke up totally confused. Where and am all I? I saw Where was am I? Hirata with his glasses dancing, and I thought I was in a nightclub, the middle of a party. But then, no, I remember that I was actually in, in the, the rain. rain. In a wrestling match. See, everyone, Pokemon Dragon laying down completely unconscious. Look at him. He's out. Out. Everyone is out and needs the chance to dance. The Tokyo Go. Do you know the Tokyo Go, go dancing? I do. Five women. <laughs> Look at Matsui's face. So let's do it. Oh, oh. man. What a dancer! He's an artist, a dancer, truly a man, man. And what about that karate chop in your neck? You will die. Now everyone is unconscious and they're gonna wake up to see Hirata just dancing around the ring. And the fans How are dancing too. How do you feel when you see that? How do you react? You know you're in the middle of a match, you want to win and then this is what happens. He doesn't care, he only wants to dance. He sure loves to dance. Oh, there are friends? No way! A stunner! Oh, flips him off, flips him a bird. What a kick! And Takao has a gin and, gin and tonic. tonic! Drops him right on his neck. Three, and that's it, that's what happens when you take too much time dancing. You spend your time dancing. Uh, Takao, Makoto Uishi, and Ultimo Dragon are the winners of this match. Do you know something? I'm surprised. Oh. Because the Ultimo Dragon was in G2. It was a very a historic contest right here. We'll hope we'll get to see more of him in the DDC ring. <laughs> and Hirata is out. Uh, pays the price for dancing too much. The Cardinal Sin of Pride. What a match. My favorite part was when Ultimo Dragon jumped. <laughs> I, don't, I don't know how much success Washi and Hirata are going to have in until we can work out their issues. And learn to work as a unit rather than one person's yeah. yeah, yeah. He wants to dance. I don't know what he, that he is. He only doing. wants to dance. Thank you. Muchas gracias, señor último. Okay, Jack, Look, all the fans are so happy to see the Ultimo Dragon here in DDT Pro Wrestling. Right, they all know the history behind this man. They're all very appreciative. He's a living legend. And what do we have next? The third, third match. Third match. So it will be Yuki Osaka and Higuchi versus Akito and Hideki Suzuki. Do you know something that the, the plans were Yuki Osaka and Kudo versus Akito and Hideki Suzuki? But in the last Sapporo match, uh, the last Sapporo show, yes. uh, Kudo got in. Mm. So that's why he's not in this, in this match. Right, replaced by Yuguchi, which is not a bad replacement at all. No, very it's a very, competitive. A very oh. good one. So, uh, former tag team champions were Yuguchi and Irie, who at the time of this was in an excursion in America. Yeah. Um, to, doing great over here. I, I only hear great things about him. Um, and do you know what is interesting? That Sakaguchi makes martial arts, and we have Higuchi Sumo. Right, and their opponents, Akito and Hideki Suzuki. Akito is well versed in amateur wrestling, and Suzuki, a uh, catch as catch can European style grappler. Yeah, we have a lot of styles. All in, very, very, very. In one single ring, and that ring is DDT1. All very experienced uh, grapplers and very well versed in other forms of martial arts. And we have the Kiran PTW World, a strong heavyweight champion. Akito, with some hair, <laughs> starting to go back. Yes, with Hideki Suzuki, the big Japan, the strongest style champion. Right, the trademark catch wrestling towel and t-shirt tucked into his trunk. Very, very classic style. You know what, you can see by his ears, that, that's one of the scariest things about people for me. When I see those ears, those you like the person is a cauliflower ears. A cauliflower. Do you want cauliflower ears? I, I don't want them specifically, but I wouldn't mind having them. Yeah, I wouldn't that's... mind having it. It's like, oh, this guy is tough. <laughs> this guy is <laughs> tough. He has messed up ears. That's right. And boy, his ears are messed up. 
Still a rather good looking man. Wow. Higuchi is incredibly flexible, has very strong legs, and he's great so balance big because of big. his sumo training. Whoa, what is happening here? Sakaguchi is trying to intimidate the big Japan champion? Now, I think. Is that possible? Sakaguchi and Akito are almost polar opposites. Yeah. Sakaguchi is a fighter. He likes to brawl. He likes, he to, likes to brawl. Yeah. He doesn't mind being member of shoot and doji. Yeah, that's right. And Aka uh, Akito, one of his trademarks is his patience and discipline. Discipline and very technical. Always uses his strategy, always takes his time to plan his attack. Wow, and here we have Higuchi versus. Mr. Hideki Suzuki. Two men almost equal in size. Yeah, very but big, I believe that strong. Suzuki is bigger. I don't know. We're about to see the strongest here. Well, whoa, 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 so fast. What an sleeper. We're going to choke trying to cut. Oh, but luckily, luckily Sakaguchi is... <laughs> those kicks barely even break the hold. It took three to get him to release. Whoa, and now he's staring mad. him down. Mad. Oh, no. Come on, Sakaguchi. Respect the rules. You are not the legal man. And he continues Another doing some submissions. Hold. Yes. Choke hold. Higuchi has to get out of this. He can't stay so, in there So very effective. Long. Wow, but Higuchi is so strong. He That's why he's up. the monster. He can just pick him up. And Sakaguchi is here, but he's kicking the legs. He strikes. Nikki strikes. He's trying to took the opponent's balance, but there is no way. As a mixed martial Whoa, artist, well, do you see that? I just Throwing him down. And what right? a takedown! Obviously, Sakaguchi a lot smaller than Hideki Suzuki. This is impressive. Sakaguchi is using his style, and Hideki is using his style, so they cannot take each other. He's a very, very good grappler. Yeah. And as yeah. a smaller man, he knows how to get in the guard. He knows how to defend from there. And Akito's here around Hideki Suzuki. Akito Not facing off again. Suzuki is no longer the legal man, so he, he has is to no step out of the longer ring. the legal man. And Akito's here with his wrestling. There we go, the amateur wrestling. Good it's single leg takedown. What he a falls into Sakaguchi's guard. But Sakaguchi is very good at ground too. He's very good. He's very good on his back. So we will see what happens. Whoa! Submission move, but Akito. Whoa! Just takes him down. Obviously, a lot of damage to Sakaguchi. Wow! He goes back to flying armbar. An armbar. What? Very good submission. What a, an armbar! And now he's going to the triangles, Chuck. Right. With the amateur re wrestling background, Agi Akito probably has the advantage on takedowns and in the clinch. But on the ground, Sakaguchi's jujitsu is probably yes. his best weapon. Yes. And look, he's taking his arm too at the same time. He's doing the, the chuck and the arm. He's working the other arm now. Whoa! That's right. Tries to get to that. Double Look, wrist lock. he's Triangle sending a message to Hideki. Just staring him down. Look at him. You don't see a lot of people try that with guys like Suzuki, just staring him down, trying no to. No way. He's the champion. What a middle kick. Middle kick. Akito wearing his new gear for this Korokan Hall show. Very stylish, Akito. Is yes, he's always very fashion, very stylish. And Higuchi has got the top. Higuchi, a very simple man. What a chop! What a chop! Likes to hit people, likes to throw people around. I've been on the receiving end of those knife and yeah, chops you, more than you once. Had a, you had a, a main event with him at DNA. I had two main events. Two? Him. The finals of the Grand Prix and then... Yeah, that's true. And we had a rematch afterwards. Right. I won the first one. And they're not following the rules. What is happening here? Fighting on the outside. Suzuki. This is very dangerous for everyone Just around Just rolling them. and... What is happening? Maybe they hate each, each other. There seems to be a lot of anger, a lot of intensity. What Just a... Quick strikes to the face so fast. What an elbow. What an elbow strike. Barely phases Suzuki. Just comes back with a big elbow. These are people Asako, with which is going to the Hidakita with a middle kick. But no, the, it continues. Ah, those are two people with years, ten decades of martial arts. Look, do you see that? Him. Just walks over him. Walks over him. No respect at all. Sakaguchi is down now. 
and the action continues with Higuchi. Go inside the ring. Which is the most important part because this is where the match could end. It cannot end on the outside. Is it? Is, did you see he, oh. Akita? He was doing the, that one. That is not good, Akita. Oh, come on. <laughs> Your partner there gets, gets, Whoa. The, gets the ankle. Ankle lock. Another submission. Ankle lock and Tawara. What a... Right, a gut very wrench. slow deadlift gut wrench suplex. He uses his power. Just carry a man at and Hideki side. And Hideki Suzuki now is in the <laughs> Goes back after Sakaguchi. So he doesn't care about Higuchi. Oh, European down. uppercut. That's European right. uppercut. Wow, what a suplex. It's important to mention that it's the first appearance of Hideki Suzuki in DDT. Right, he was trained by J Billy Robinson, catch can wrestler. European style of wrestling. There's a big, long British tradition. That's why the European uppercut. That's right. A lot of European techniques. Oh, what a chop. A lot of quick strikes as well on top of the catch wrestling. The man knows how to hit. He knows how to do it. Shiguchi's strength and weight and wow. balance too much. Throws him on his shoulder. Body slam by Higuchi. That was incredible. He's now, fighting with the big Japan World Strong Champion. Now you know Sakaguchi wants to get in there. Get his revenge. Whoa, what a Suzuki. jumping kick. And jumping a middle, middle kick. Kicks. Wow. Look at Hideki's chest. It's red. So obviously doing a lot of damage with those kicks. In his MMA career, Sakaguchi used his knees and kicks a lot to knock people out. Whoa, 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 whoa. Big takedown. Big takedown and elbows. Elbows from the mount. But he's fighting back. Oh, such, so much Ooh. strength, so much hard place by, by <coughs> Suzuki. And he's fighting his way up. Taking down Sakaguchi. Do you see that? Over One that. more time. He's showing no respect. No respect. He gets no respect, Sakaguchi. And Akito now is the legal man going to do the knee strike. So it throws him up, lands him onto his knee. And he's doing Moai. That maneuver is called Moai. Moai. So a lot of Akito's offense. Um, Sees him throwing people down onto their knees or yes. stomach, always targeting. Always, this is his strategy. Sakaguchi fights out of it. Oh, what a beautiful abdominal stretch! Abdominal stretch. Suzuki, undoubtedly proud of the catch as catch can maneuver. Oh, he's doing it too. Octopus. Oh, but no balance. But do you see that? He used the ropes to balance again. Very what smart. A, what a master! That's experience. That's that years of catch wrestling. Experience. Years. Now, Neck lock. Cravat applied by Akito. Sakaguchi obviously in a lot of pain, almost passing out, gets to the road. Octopus and neck lock. What a submission by them. Gra grabs Higuchi by the ear and throws him outside. You couldn't just <laughs> throw a man aside. I'm you talking about ear, some missions. Do you see that a sleeper by Sakaguchi? Oh, Sakaguchi drop kick. Drop kick. You rarely see Sakaguchi a drop kick. He must feel in a lot of trouble. Yeah, why is he using drop kick? You, uh, you must be Oh, did you see that? The spear! The spear to Hideki Suzuki outside! They will back again, fighting outside. So much intensity, so much almost hatred by these two, two wrestlers. Ah, uh, he was just taking the big boot. Big boot. Taking control. A lot of flexibility in those legs from sumo wrestling. Only two! Almost gets it with a big running boot. And they're still fighting outside. Oh, Dr. Bomb is coming, man. Dr. Bomb, but Akito, Akito using his wrestling to move. pick him up on his shoulders. Down yeah. off his knees, Knee. targeting the knees again. Targeting the knees, and now he's targeting the knees, and he's going to do a submission move he's doing. A scorpion deathlock. Sasori. Sasori put a lot of people away with that move. But now, right in position to get kicked. Oh, what a high kick! Right to the jaw. And, and they he continue. Back in from Suzuki. <laughs> Outside. A headbutt does not care. Whoa! Big running knee strike. What a sound! 
What a mix tried by Hideki Suzuki. There was no hesitation at all in Suzuki's movement. But he was just mad and he gave him a big lariat from behind. Now grabbing a Kito. Choke slam. Big choke slam. Gets him right down. Is this it? Is this the end? No. Yes, this is the end. I'm and sorry, Akito. Yeah, Sumo Tackle is coming. Sumo Tackle. Gets it. Just floors him. Throws Come him on, down Akito. You are from All Out. Ooh. I know that you were a nerd. Surprised that he kicked out of that. He knows how to put his weight behind him. Just gets a lot of speed. A big running charge. <gasps> Dr. Bomb is coming. Dr. Bomb. But That's Akito. Reverses. What is coming? Whoa, 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 what a, whoa, so fast, so fast. Such a smart rest. So good at reversing. Two. Whoa, Ooh. European clutch, European clutch, European clutch. Is three. Such a smart, impressive combination by a uh, Give me a second. European clutch? That means that she's showing respect to the European roots for Hideki Suzuki. That's right. Good old catch is catch can maneuver. The pinning combination, very British style. You can see that a lot on the world of sports teams. Do you know what is interesting? That Hideki Suzuki and Akito, they were born in the same date. Really? Yeah. <laughs> well, they share a birthday. Yeah, they share a birthday. But that was awesome. European clash. He wasn't able to escape Higuchi. Whoa, now Higuchi refusing the handshake and Suzuki pushing him away. Whoa, he ignored Sakaguchi. Wow. What a match. Very impressive. Do you know what I like? All those different kinds of fighting styles. Yeah, all four men in this match are very, very lovely grapplers. Know what they're doing, they're also very interesting. And you can see well. that Sakaguchi is not very happy at all. You can see Hakito and Suzuki typically very respectful individuals. Shot and Guji simply do not care, like to get drunk and fight. What a match. Sakaguchi did. And now we are continuing with the fourth match. That's right, here we have Kisuke Ishii. Versus Suwama and in a single match. Single match action. I was waiting for this match. I really want to see this one. Me too. Ishii out first. Always dressed in pink. And that is his favorite color. Yes. You know why favorite. that is? You know why he was so much I don't know. We have to ask that. Don't forget to ask Takao about the bird. Yes. Which bird and the second color? one will be Ishii. Why are you wearing pink all every time? The half dance reminiscent of Street Fighter Vega. <laughs> Just like Kabuki style, Japanese traditional Kabuki style. Do you know that in the election, Ishii took the mic and he requested this match? He said, Please, I want to fight Suwama in a single match. Right, both coming from all of Yeah. And also, it will be Suwama's first appearance in DDT Pro Wrestling. That's right, a lot of, lot of first appearances in DDT. So, uh, we had seen Suzuki in a DNA ring before. But yeah, but he never, never did it. Ultimate Dragon is first time in DDT Raw, and now Suwama in the ring. Former Fugu Crown Championship in all Japan. He lost the day before. He was, she used to be the champion. That's right, the master of the last right power bomb. Power bomb already a very, very painful maneuver. Now yeah. He pushes you up. He's so big. Yeah. So big. The giant man, you can tell by his size of those legs that he squats his time. Do you remember that we mentioned that Ishii was with all Japan? Yes. He was with All Japan until 2007, and Suwama debuted in All Japan in 2004. So they were in the same promotion for those three years. They have wrestler before, but it's their first single match. Right. <clears throat> Suwama obviously with a side advantage. Looking Ishii dead in the eye. There is a size difference. Also, it's important to mention that Suwama is part of the Evolution Stable in all Japan. 
Who are the other members? I believe that Karusato and what is his name? I don't remember now. <laughs> That's all right. Good grappling happening here. Both very good grapplers. Ishi style, very underrated, very creative wrestling. Very creative. Always He's very up. good using knee strikes. I like that. I'm very good at doing some German suplex, dragon suplex. Wait, a bit of a jack of all trades. Uses some very, very creative strikes. Coming out, switching from the grappling to the striking. Yes. Throws it's a very good combination. combination. Very athletic as well. Will he, he be able to do it in this show? With oh, this no. opponent? He's too big, too strong. Well, see, that has to be part of the strategy for him. He has to be able to get Suwama damaged enough to, to be able to lift him without him using his full resistance in wrestling counters. As you said before, maybe very good at strikes with very good... Yeah. A lot of flexibility. I told you, knee strike. He is very good with the knee strike. See, that was a very, very difficult grappling exchange. And now he undoubtedly tired them both a lot. Ishii coming out on top of the knee strike. Getting an early lead. Baseball here. chop. Baseball chop. But when it you, doesn't work. When you hear that in person, it sounds like a gun going off. It sounds like Second time, it doesn't work. Let's see the last time. Third time, it doesn't work. Oh, double chop from Suwama. He destroyed Ishii's chest. I have never seen anyone react the way Suwama did to Ishii's baseball chop. And then being able to just take him down. Only in just top. one hit. Did you listen to that? Did you hear that? Did you see Ishii just crumble? Well, look, look, that. face watching, face watching. Matsui is saying, is it on the corner? You have to, to, to respect the rules. Oh, no. oh he's in trouble. He's, he's in big trouble. trouble, big trouble. Body slam from Suwama. Just slams him down. He's like a child, just picking him up and slamming him down. What an elbow! Elbow, elbow. elbow drop. Come on, Ishii, only two. So close, so close already. The match is just started and already almost... Suwama is too a strong. That's the point. You rarely see people win matches with just a big elbow drop like that, but man. The size different here and the height he got on that jump. And now we have sitting down, crushing his back with a Boston crab. Big Boston crab. And evolution, evolution is the unit. Oh, man. Don't forget that. Ishii. Come I've, on, Ishii. Whoa! I've heard people say that Ishii is made of rubber. He's so flexible. He can fall on his head and resist a lot of damage. But now he's, he's suffering going. a lot. Look at him. Look at his body. That is not a normal position for your body. That's right. A lot of people would have tapped out by now. Not easy. But is he escaping? And he did. Finally. There's, there's a lot riding on him for this match. I mean, all the, the pride, the move from all Japan to DVD that has to play in here, that has to be a factor for him. Did you see the go. kick? Right. That kick was intense. This is where it's important for Ishii to just go through the pain and get up and keep, keep on fighting, keep fighting through. Come on Ishii, you can do it. He's going to the corner and hit up. What a close line. <laughs> See, since Ishii tried with those baseball shots, she's like a doll. Was not able to take Suwama down with one of the hardest strikes he's known to do. And then Suwama just took him down with a double tap. This is where we saw the switch. Look this at Ishii. Suwama on top. Obviously. Come on, Ishii, you can do it. Do your best. Do your Ishii best. in a lot of trouble here. Gambare, gambare. <laughs> gambare Kurasai, Ishii san, tries to pick him up. With the Brain Buster? But Ishii is fighting, fighting, somehow fighting through. Whoa, 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 whoa. Whoa! Picks him up. He did the. Suplex, did you see that? On a man twice his size. He's doing his best. I'm so happy to see this match. Double knee drop, I told you. He's very good at knee strikes. Again, another one of Ishii's very, very painful, very creative maneuvers that he knows how to use. He's been doing that double knee drop for years. Four years. And he's going to the top to hit a 
Missile drop kick. What a beautiful missile drop That's kick. That's where he has the strength advantage. On the ground, Suwama has shown to be more powerful with his strikes. But so, if Ishii can get to the top rope and then just dive on him, that's where you'll have the advantage, as yes. he does now. Finally in control, grabs him, possibly going for a German suplex. Has been known He's to use going a to the suplex German well. suplex. Trying to do his best, but Suwama is... Obviously still damaged from that drop, he trying to find out. Clubbing strikes to the back. What a lariat! That is a lariat! Come on, Ishii, only two! Another close fall already. What a backdrop suplex! Very high! How tall is, how tall is Swamo? I have no idea, but oh, he's obviously over six Look feet. at him! He's huge! Held him way up high and dropped him down, in, back in control. I told you, last ride is coming! Come on, Ishii! Last ride, and the match will be... Can you get him all the way up? Come on, come on, come on! Whoa, he escapes at Enzigiri! What a beautiful Enzigiri! He all cut it with a shin to the side of the head, not quite the knee, but... A lesser man would have been knocked out, so he goes for that Lariat again. He's gonna... He catch it, and... Knee oh, strike! He's a Gary, and he's doing the Moonsell! Knee drop attack, back with the knee straight, crazy. Such accuracy and flexibility. Do you see that? Incredible maneuver. And now is he his opportunity to do the German suplex. German suplex to a man twice his size, using two. his hips to pop him up. And that bridge couldn't get it. Only two, only two. You have to take into account the size difference here. It's a lot more damage when Suwama gets thrown onto his head. A lot bigger man, a lot more weight coming out on that neck. And he will try to do the half Nelson suplex. But couldn't get the Tiger suplex, so he switched it to the half Nelson. But now Suwama with Whoa. the German throws him right onto his head. What a suplex! Picks him back up. Half Nelson suplex! Like Ken Tokobashi style! Oh That's my god. god! Right onto his head. Come on, Ishii. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, Kicks only up. two. Only Earn, two. Earns his nickname of being made of rubber. <laughs> Man. Come on, Ishii. But Suwama is going to take the last ride. It's Can coming. Last up? ride is there coming. Is. Oh, Who are you, Ishii? That has to be it. Just mounts him. Both hands on the shoulders. Oh, and three. that's three. That's, that's it. Three. He couldn't survive the last try. But you know something? He should be his best. Man. He was fighting with his life. He hit him in the, like, right in the head with his knee several times. Couldn't put him away. Incredible, incredible toughness from the both of them. I like this man. You are coming out of the park for the last try. Incredible. Incredible match. What a match. Ishii gave it his all, still laying down on the camera, working hard. He requested me. There is a lot of me here. So I'm curious to find out how he feels about it. He obviously did his best. Jumped off the top rope with a missile drop kick, hit a big German suplex on the guy. That with German a considerable suplex size was advantage. awesome. Got the bridge, couldn't mm -hmm. quite put him away. What a match. I'm so happy to see this in GDP oh, for wrestling. Deserves a big ovation. Very proud of Ishii. Very proud. Let's continue. Let's continue with a single match action. Here we have Masahiro Takanashi taking on Tetsuya Endo. Wow, members of Shuten Doji. Please follow Masa, Masa DDT at, on Twitter. Masa, one of the most interesting, most creative. His style is so creative. I'm always surprised what he's doing. He's very good at matches for many men. Um, having held a six man tag yeah. championships many times, love tagging times in the fellowship movie. Been in DDT for a very, very long time. Knows his way around the ring. He also had this past being traveling to different countries, 
like Russia, Thailand, uh, Singapore, fun. So many countries, so many very interesting maneuvers, a lot of experiences. And he's opening Tetsuya Endo, member of Damnation, who doesn't have nearly as much experience as Masahiro does, but Endo has all the momentum going for him. Just coming up, he's been having very, very dominant wins recently. Yeah, recently, and he's doing a lot of new maneuvers, putting opponents away in record time. Yeah, look at him, Endo from Damnation. Follow him on Twitter, Endetsu DDT. Former packing partner, for, formerly a part of Hacking Motel. Yes, with Takeshita. And then he joined the nation. What a story. Giving himself up to the dark side, kind of. He changed. He doesn't used to be like that. If he had a lightsaber, it would be red. Yeah, a red one. And what about Masa? I don't Maybe not a, a bottle of, of beer. <laughs> you would find with a bottle of beer, probably. Yeah, no, no, no laser. Probably a pistol. You would probably just use a pistol. A <laughs> pistol. So single match action. But I'm with, that, with the half shaved head. Yeah, I'm expecting what kind of match it will be. Because the styles are so different. We have high flying and we have technique technician style so we will see what happens this could be very short endo could come off quick very energetic very aesthetic usually starts his matches very hot yeah masahiro with some unorthodox techniques and yes he is very orthodox and very good at ground and, and chain wrestling very good grabber very intelligent switching going for leg i told you very good chain wrestling both men are very good grapplers here, obviously. Experienced techniques, twisting arms. Both just damaging each other, taking him down. What a technique. Do you see that? He took his opponent in one single move and now he's taking control. He gets the first takedown of the match. The first one. That must mean a lot. This is what you want in this kind of match. You want the advantage, you want the other. You want your opponent to know that you have advantages. Now. Masahiro probably feels more confident as a grappler, feels in control. Yes, he's a very good grappler. He's taking control now. Look at Endo. Gives him an early lead. See Endo on the floor. You rarely see Endo. No, it's, it's, it's very strange to see him in that position. On the position. ground this early. Control of the neck, just wrenching it. Applying a lot of damage early on. What a submission. Endo is trying to escape. But no Grass way. Neck again. You're not gonna escape. See, that's the experience. He's had this, this whole reverse before, and he knows how to counter the reversals. He knows how to do he it. He knows how to reverse the reversals, which is the difference maker in this match. But now Endo has the neck. Endo is do doing very good wrestling it's now. It's a creative reversal, uses a lot of strength. Endo, Backslide. Endo is always training. Whoa. Eats very carefully. Always working hard, tries to be as athletic as possible. Going for an arm drag here, but again, the experience by Masahiro. Oh, Gets what a... Pin. What is a... Uh, no, just takes him down, wrenches the head uh, again. A submission? I, I thought that it was a pin at the beginning, but it ended with a, a submission. You never know what to expect. You never Masahiro. know. What a style. He takes people down and he just goes from one limb to the other, transitions from a pin to a submission, back to a pin. But Endoscape. Still in control though. Yes, he's in control, I'm surprised. Endo got out momentarily. He's taking control, Endo is in the corner. Oh, what a chop. Yet yeah, despite not caring about the rules or what society expects of him, Endo takes very good care of his body on a very strict diet. Yes, very strict very diet. Very hard training regimen. Did you see that? Lands on his feet into a front foot. Ooh, that was some experience on Endo's part, outsmarting muscle. What was that? What was that? Could you please explain me that? What happened? He landed on his feet, used his momentum to throw himself into the air, landed into a front foot. Wow. Confusing Masa. Yes. This is how it's gonna this is how Endo is gonna get his advantage. If he can mix 
intelligent maneuvers, like faking that elbow strike, yeah. but then hitting him with the high flying oh. and, and his athleticism. That's how I got it. it. I, I got it. And now he's doing a submission maneuver. Very intelligent. He's a lot younger, probably moves his body better than Massa. But look, he tried to skate, but Endo's doing a submission, an arm, arm bar. Right, using his momentum, he got the advantage and he can't let Massa get back on top. Incredible, I'm surprised. Hurting that arm. What a chop. Endo's taking control now, but Massa is... Look at his face. Chop of his own. Massa just willing to trade with him. We are gonna see a chop battle. Come on, Massa. Screams for that chop. Endo oh. floors him. But is Endo is taking control. You can see him kicking the floor in pain. It hurts a lot, that's why. Only two. Look at his chest. Oh. It's red. It's only red. Tetsuya again, training, so has a lot of power, knows how to use his body, knows how to throw those hips behind those chops. He's taking control, I'm so surprised. Only two on Masa, look at his face. Endo is probably not the hardest striker in DDT, not known for powerful punches or kicks, but when he throws his whole body, when he does, he does a trademark springboard yeah. backflipping kick to the head. He, he puts his, his whole body behind it, and that gets him a lot of power. That's what he uses to knock people out. Yeah, that's right, that's right. Now battling for suplex. He's trying to hit a suplex, but Massa is trying to fight back. For brain Oh, look, 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 look. At those punches, elbow. He punches, runs into a back elbow. Oh! Whoa! DDT out of nowhere! Do you see that? Do you see that? DDT. He was gonna receive the Brain Buster, but out of nowhere he did the DDT. See, there's the experience with Masa. You never know if he's letting you lift him up in a Brain Buster, knowing he's gonna counter it. Oh, punches! Or if you're actually doing it. Punched Endo right in the head three times. Oh, and he's a special technique. Special technique, grabbing the nose. Grabbing and going to hit the... Oh! Whoa, and this... Whoa! Moved out of the back. He's gonna do Monsal! No! Just fakes it. <laughs> fake Again, it. here's a fake into a roller. He's Brilliant playing strategy. He's playing mind games. One more time, going to the drop kick. He grabbed his nose and struck it down again. I once heard that in Russia, Masa ripped a man's nose clean off his face. <laughs> Did you see that Masa Munsal? <laughs> Fake the moons on the leaf of that hand. And his foot. And he's charging the super kick. Pushes his own oh, leg whoa. down. Whoa! Grabs his arm. Do you see that way to escape? Sunset flip is coming. But what is Endo doing? Brain Buster! Brain Buster! Just deadlifting him. A deadlift, one of Endo's favorite maneuvers in the gym. Now, a Moonsault is coming. No, it wasn't Moonsault. It was reverse 450 Centon. That's right. So much momentum, so much height needed in order to be able to fully rotate onto your back. I was expecting them standing Moonsault. Could but have he broken a, a, one of Massa's ribs there. He hit a new move. It's the first time that I see that move from Endo. Right, an extra full 90 degree rotation oh. for the standard back foot. Nose grabs, double nose, nose grabbing. Nose grabbing. Oh, Endo, and this is stronger. Mas oh, referee, Matsui, what are you doing, Matsui? Matsui? Forcing him to break the hold. Again, you can't grab another back. Do you see that? It's like Matsui is helping Endo. Nose, face, or mouth. And Endo's gonna do a rolling jumping. Oh! Masa screaming. <laughs> Masa screaming? More mind games and fakes and brilliant strategy by Masa. Oh, but he was gonna hit the neck breaker, but then he used his. What a leg lariat! Scapson with a shin behind the ear. Endo could be knocked out. I'm surprised. Today Masa's doing a lot of mind games. Such a smart wrestler. Yes, very smart. Always using a brilliant strategy. 
going for his finisher. What is that called? Here? Uh, what is called? <laughs> we don't know. All right, it's yeah. like the red coat. Uh, Takatanic. Takatanic, that's right. Yeah, Takatanic. But Endo countered into the springboard kick. Picks him up for the torture rack, rack bomb. bomb. Slams him down. Only two. Oh my god. I have taken that many times. I have taken it too many times. Being dizzy and then being thrown onto the back of your head is not a fun thing. Endo is in the apron. You Tetsuya the in the sky. Oh. On his feet. 450, but trust kick. Hits the kick. And he's gonna do a German suplex, but he escapes. What a casadora! One, Rolls him up two, again. and reverses. One, two, reverses again. One, two. Oh my God! What is Endo doing? What is Endo doing? He gets him back up again. Brilliant wrestling by these two. You never know. Is Massa leading him on, or is he? Oh. Actually... This, 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 in the sky, oh, what is something, no, 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 what is this, what is this, do you see, oh, three, do you see that roll, the tree doesn't think it's over, tries to pick him up, but no, do you know that that roll is called hangover, the hangover, the hangover roll, but it was from out, out of nowhere, he, he received the Tetsuya, Tetsuya in the sky, and then reverses, out of nowhere, Right, just it's that, that brilliant Mike, brilliant your character. face is, I, I haven't, it's the first time that I see your face like that. You're surprised. I am, I didn't. So, Endo had so much momentum behind him going into this. Coming up, such dominant victories, and then Masa, so, if we were taking bets on this fight, I believe 90% of the time would have put their money in Endo, but Masa Mas just yes. coming up from behind with the roll up out of nowhere. I didn't expect that. Tetsuya in the sky countered into a hangover. Hangover, what a name. What a very fitting name for Masa's move. Endo is a little bit disappointed. Understandably. Endo maybe got got overconfident in this, and that cost him the match. So in the elections, shouldn't know you lost, because the number one was damnation. Right, so yeah. Shotendoji being number two, another very popular stable in Yes, yeah, so he's saying that he lost in the, la in the, in the groups and also he lost in the single competition because Endo was in, I don't, I don't remember in which name, but he's saying that we are not going to lose in the photo book. There is no way. We lost in the unit, we lost in the singer, in the personal election, but we are not gonna lose in the photo book. Right, for the whole stable that... Uh, that but what, well, do you remember that they went, they always drinking alcohol? But Sakaguchi say, no, I'm not drinking because I'm, I'm driving. What about you, Kudo? Kudo say, no, I'm injured, I cannot drink. Well, what about Dumeda? But Dumeda is not gonna drink because he will... Is, will be in DNA next week, so he's not able to drink. And Masa is not able to drink either, because he's have, have a match after this show. So today there is no Sakamori. <laughs> so he, he's saying, I will drink, but before the show, before the other show. Very sober night for Shikun Still undoubtedly very happy at Very happy. He lost in the elections, but he won this match. Do you want to see the, that Shiten Doji photo book? Of course I do. Yeah, I think it would be so sexy. <laughs> I can't wait to see all those sexy pictures. Sakaguchi, Masa, Kudo. All very good looking men. I'm very good at drinking alcohol, but not for this opportunity. So we are going to a break. See you later. See you. And we are back. We are back. And we are gonna see a beautiful TLC. 
Right, this is what I'm very excited to see. Those matches are always completely insane. Harashima is known to pull out some incredible maneuvers. Incredible! Sasaki is willing to do absolutely anything to win. But it's important to mention that it's a TLC, no DQ, but can you please tell me what is the specific point here? Right, there are road breaks. Yes. Which is very, very important and could affect the outcome of this match a lot. Now, Sasaki uses a cross face and yes. put away a lot of people. He's won a lot of matches with that. And if Harashima can get to the ropes, he can escape. Then, right, the referee cannot disqualify him for, for, yes, that's for keeping the hold if he gets on the ropes. But Harashima cannot tap out if he's holding the ropes. So, yeah, if he keeps on, then Sasaki can't win that way. I'm should. talking about Harashima here, the tag team champion. Harashima, who is. Acting champion with Naomi Shimano Fuji from Pro Wrestling Noah. That's right. Another very, very important figure in Japanese wrestling. Yes. Naomi Shimano Fuji. And as you said before, Sasaki is doing the crossface, but he's always using crossface with a chair or a table or an alley. So that's why. That's right. There could be any kind of variation. Any kind of variation. So number two in the election, Harashima, you can see the fans appreciation, all those streamers. They love Harashima. They Huge love Mark of respect to The blue, the blue, the blue one. And his opening, Sasaki no, Sasaki. Almost the polar opposite of Harashima. Yeah, it's like white and, and black, like the opposite, the extreme opposite. Still very much loved by the fans, though, but... Um, not the most lawful person, obviously. <laughs> Sometimes can do things that just seem outright mean. He basically ruined Ken Oka's life lately. Yeah! Um, he's, he's now, he destroyed his life! He's now very rich. He took he, he won all of Ken Oka's savings. He has all his money. And if you want to understand why, please watch the previous Corrup and Hall show with the English commentaries on DDT Universe. Sorry, a long, a, a long feud has been going on with Sasaki and Kenoka, also including Sasaki and Kenoka. They had a three-way match. Um, yeah, what a match it was. Also, the one on the of this did not happen too long ago. That is a leather jacket by Sasaki. So punk, he likes punk music, that's why he doesn't care, he doesn't follow the rules, he doesn't care about the fans, he only cares about and big breasted blonde women, such as Joy <laughs> Ryan's wife. And also Candy. <laughs> also Candy. Yeah. Um, you can see two belts on Sasaki. Yeah. Put on top of holding the... <clears throat> Indy Junior. That's right, on top of being the, the Extreme Champion, he also has the K-Dojo Independent World Junior Heavyweight Belt. Yes, the independent one. And he defended in the K... Kaientai Dojo. He defended. And... Also, he's the DVD Extreme Champion. Right, so on top of being a DVD mainstay, also also works for a lot of other promotions in Japan. Very respected competitor from everyone. So Damnation versus a Smile Squash in a single match. TLC action. Again, you can see Endo and Poli always behind Sasaki, always in his corner. And, and in the blue corner, you can see Takao Sona too. That's right. I think I saw Higuchi there, always supporting Harashima. So, I'm so excited about this match. Do you know that Sasaki, he chose this match because he's, he thinks that TLC is one of his best abilities? Something like that. He said that, oh, I'm very good at TLC. That's why I'm going to do it. Well, he was very successful in it against Joey Ryan. Yes. Do you remember that match? It was incredible. A lot of craziness. I remember Sasaki diving onto Joey Ryan's penis only to hurt himself. Oh, yeah, I remember that but one. But surviving too. Joey Ryan's deadly penis and coming out victorious. <laughs> Joey, we miss you! Harashima pushes him into a corner, showing his strength that means but gets cut off. Oh, look! Those punches are illegal! You're not gonna do that! No way, no way! This is a no disqualification match. Oh, however. that's true! So, so punches, everything is allowed. Chairs, obviously. 
early on. And Ashima ducks it and kicks the chair and just like his own face. Now, getting hit straight in the head with a chair this early on could have meant the end for Hiroshima. It could have ended quickly. Quickly. He's taking control, taking the chair. What is he going to do? Now, despite using a lot of high flying maneuvers, Hiroshima deceptively oh! strong. Did you hear that? It's straight to the back. That there's that strength also possibly one of the best grapplers in DBT. Yes, he's very good at grappling. He's gonna fly, but Sasaki stopped him with a chair shot out of nowhere. He was gonna do the plancha, but do you see Sasaki, is, he's very smart. He's very smart, he uses a lot more weapons than most wrestlers in the game. He knows. Always willing to cheat, even when it's not part of the rules and match, even when it's not tables, letters and chairs. He does not care, he yeah, does not he follow the rules. He doesn't care. He will use any object he can. Oh, do you see that? Right into the chairs. Korokuen Hole is suffering now. Now see, what's dangerous about that is you get thrown into chairs and then you're uh, you can assume that the chairs are causing the damage, but no, oftentimes there are objects on the floor. Yeah, or you can see those, those bleachers behind him, he could have banged his head on there. You just never know what you're going to You never fall on. know. When you're outside the ring, there's always a danger. There could always be cans, people, drinks, people having a hot coffee. You <laughs> hot coffee. <laughs> and burn yourself. Oh, that's very dangerous. Wow, they're exchanging the strikes with the chairs. But Sasaki is taking control, he has more experience with this. Whoa! Right to the head, to the ear. Now, he used the tip of the chair to his stomach to bend him down. Now, oh, the first ladder into the ring. Uh, he's gonna use it now? Even though it doesn't look as painful, sometimes the, those chair shots to the stomach hurt a lot more than the ones to the head. They will cut your breathing, they will choke you out. Oh! Did you see that? He used a chair and... Right, there's that experience this. using weapons. Harashima always holds the rules, always honorable, usually wins with straight pro wrestling. Yes, but Sasaki is the opposite. You said that before. He is the opposite. He's just a bad guy. He's just a sociopath. So does, so not, does not care. He doesn't care. They will not conform. They will not get married. They're done. They, they will not kiss ass either. I assume that means to referees as well. Going for the pin. Only two. Sasaki's okay. taking control. See, he didn't. He didn't put that much effort behind that. Now, sometimes the reason you will pin a person, especially if it's this early on in the match, and after hitting him on the outside and throwing him in the ring, they've had some time to recover. Yes. You don't necessarily think you're going to win. That's but true. By putting your weight on them and making them kick out, you're going to tire them out. Do you see that he he hit a a neck breaker, but he hit by himself with a chair. It's causing something. Oh yeah, always dangerous. This is a dangerous match. It's a TLC. There's weapons everywhere. Everywhere. You never know what you could land on. Look at him, showing no respect to the Harashima, to the tag team champion. Right, Harashima is one of the most experienced competitors in DDT. He's held the KOD title multiple times. Multiple e times. Everyone respects him in the locker room. Wow. Always bowing deeply to Harashima, recognizing his experience, but Sasaki does not care at all. He doesn't care. He's just a punk. No one else. Oh, will. do you see that? This is the second time he's kicked a weapon into Sasaki's face. A lot of powerful kicks, right? A lot of powerful kicks. And now what is he gonna do? Oh, do you see that? Do you see that? Okay, now this kick doesn't need to be powerful. You just need to hit a man. Yes, balls. hit the, the... Yes. Those things. Again, a perfectly legal move in this context. Oh, Harashima. holy! Harashima could kick Sasaki in the balls whenever he wants, but... Oh, Takao is trying to save his partner, but no way, Paul is taking control. But Throw his head into the chair. There's the numbers games. There's damnation working in his unit always. Now this time it's allowed, but normally it's not, but they still do it. Anytime you're anytime you're in the ring with any member of damnation, they will all be part of the match technically. But that's they, very good teamwork. In this case, yes, in single, this yes. case it's very good teamwork. <laughs> in, in, in most cases, <laughs> it's just cheating. It's cheating, but it, in this case it's very good teamwork. Look, Takao Soma is getting... Oh! Did you see that oh splash? 
just jumping on both of them. Both of them! Both of them! Now you can see those blue mats on the floor that DDT insists on using even though they offer zero protection. They are very old and used and <laughs> Don't do say nothing. that! That is a secret! <laughs> so the fall, one, two, don't say that! But do you see? Sasaki knows he, how to do this kind of matches. He's got a lot of experience and he's taking control. Slams his head onto a table in the corner. You can see people in the crowd looking very worried. DDT fans watching on. Whoa! Throws him onto the ladder. Back first. It's like, what a hip toss into the ladder! I'm not enjoying this. Metal structure. You can see Harashima is moving slowly. Yes. He's obviously in a lot of pain. This is the kind of match where you want to take your time and think about what to use next. You have a lot of choices. You have those ladders, you have those tables. Ah, what a chair shot! You have those chairs. Look at Sasaki's face. Oh, what? Sasaki's staying strong. He's though. bending the chair. He's bending the chair. <laughs> the trademark smile by Harashima, he's happy with himself. He's and now satisfied. he's collecting some chairs, what is he planning? These are things Harashima would normally never do. No, he never did this kind of matches. He never uses a chair. No, he is always respecting the rules, following the rules, but now he's got something in mind. He's piling up chairs. He's See, piling chairs. This is what you want to do. This is a strategy. This is not wasted time in a match like this. What is he gonna do? Stomps him it's down. Stomps down on the pile of chairs. Whoa! Do you see that? The back of Sasaki's head hitting the chairs. He could have been knocked out. This was Harashima brilliantly trying He's to win. He's suffering a lot. Do you see that? He's suffering in pain. As you said before, Harashima is moving slowly in this match. Maybe a lot of damage? What do you think? It's a combination of a lot of damage and also that you need to take your time and consider all options. Consider what you need to do, whether you should use a table, a chair, any of the weapons you should have. And he's being careful. You don't want to let it go for a second. Forget about a chair that's in, in a corner that your brother could use out of nowhere. When he tried to jump to the outside onto Sasaki, Sasaki had a chair concealed and he threw it in his face. This is what you want to avoid. You want to look at this match? Whoa, like, Sasaki yes. hits a power bomb! A power bomb! See, right onto those chairs. Uh, Harashima had piled up. This is like chess. You want to consider all the moves, all the pieces. Everything that could be around that could be used as a weapon will be used against you if you forget about it. And now he's taking a table? Pony with Edna, they're setting a table outside? See, this is a smart move, taking some time, but looking around. Now, they know, they know where they have the advantage, they know where... Sasaki has thought about this, this was a carefully planned move. They know what they're doing, they're t putting the tables in the proper areas. Now, looking to suplex him to the outside. This could be very dangerous, this is very scary. Is he gonna do a suplex? suplex? Trying to bring Buster him over the ropes. Now, this is what he had in mind. You know that damnation, they work well as a unit. They talk, they discuss strategies, they know what they're doing. They know how to work. What is Karashima doing? They what a Yakuza kick! Is, is this like a falling? They always have a plan for matches like this. Whoa, but Endo! That's too dirty! See, talking about them having a plan, this is Endo coming to Sasaki. And top is see that from Sasaki Daisuke! Diving to the outside, risking his own body to go head first onto Harashima. Diving between the third and second row. What Sasaki, a tope suicida! What Sasaki, a tope suicida! Sasaki spent some time in Mexico. That's why! Learning how to dive through the ropes as effectively as possible. The classic Mexican tope suicida. And now he's taking a ladder and what is he gonna do? Now remember, he set that table up on the outside. Sasaki knows it's still there. They know what they're doing. TLC matches are all about strategy oh. and planning. He's going to the top. I know what maneuver is coming. Please tell us, what is it? He's coming the diving elbow, of course. One of his trademarks. I know you've received that. So many times, but whoa! Do you see his legs? His leg got caught in the, in the ladder and his elbow hit the hard metal parts. Wow! Rolling onto the apron. Again, this is a TLC match, but you can only pin your opponent in the middle of the, the ring. ring. He's suffering in pain, Sasaki Daisuke. 
See, this gives Harashima some time to gather his wits, to come up with a strategy, to move that table where he wants it to be. And he's setting the table, taking Sasaki Daisuke. Oh, what a lot yet. See, this is the part of it that's like chess. Harashima remembered where that table was, knew how to use it, saw the opportunity and jumped on it. Now could be going for his trademark springboard splash. Hit a splash! Wow! Breaks the table, very, very breaky, breaky. Very, very bishy, bishy. Crushes him. <laughs> what a, what a... Hero splash. Could have also broken Sasaki's ribs. Yeah, I know that. You see, this could be over. This could be the end. Karashima putting his weight on him. Holy! Two! Sasaki's fighting for this match. He knows that he wants that title. Sasaki giving his all. Known for his fighting spirit as well. What? What? What is he gonna do? No. Is he gonna. Whoa! He bent the ladder, what a change! Do you understand this? Powerful kicks, kicking the ladder right into Sasaki Kari. But it hurts, yesterday. it hurts. Of course, of course it does. It's so metal much, structure. So much power behind those kicks. So he was hitting the ladder to hit Sasaki stomach? It's surprising that his springboard splashed through a table to the outside of him and couldn't put him away. Ah, that's why he's hitting the ribs, the middle zone. He could have already broken the rib, if not this And so is bit. coming, but what a chair shot out this of nowhere. This is what I was talking about, Sasaki knowing where all the moving pieces are, using a chair that I had not forgot using about. Using all the foreign objects. Threw him right in his face. Wow, I thought that he was gonna hit the Somato, but it wasn't like that. Harashima caused a lot of damage to Sasaki, but he was able to counter with that chair. Now this is where he has to dig in to that fighting spirit to get back up, but Harashima is still on top. He's still on top. Too much damage for Sasaki to keep his momentum. But it's his chance to get the extreme title. Big elbow strikes now. Both men undoubtedly in a lot of pain. A lot of pain trying to fight for their lives. We saw it in one sequence, Sasaki going through that table, Harashima kicking that ladder into his ribs, and then Sasaki throwing what is his he, chair into his the face. The classic Mexican style dropkick by Sasaki Daisuke. He uses a counter. Now imagine how much, just how deep he has to dig in order to be able to pull out that dropkick with so much damage to his ribs and to his sternum after taking everything. Now, piling the chairs Piling the chairs Harashima. again. What is he gonna do? Is he gonna do like the diving elbow style, like Nick Foley? Again, this is the experience. We've seen him do this before, his diving elbow with the chair. Wow, he's gonna hit the diving elbow with a chair! Wow, that so was incredible! Experience using weapons, such so, so much precision by Sasaki. On to Harashima, this could be it. Is who count? Only two! Harashima manages to kick out. Harashima, I'm surprised. Found that drop kick took him down long enough for Sasaki to stack chairs on top of him and jump what off the top. What is he trying to find? With that chair, another a ladder. A bigger one, a bigger one. 20 foot ladder here. Maybe three meters? I have no idea. Yes, I believe that is a three meters ladder. Whoa. Very high, very dangerous. High. And what is he gonna do? Now, oftentimes you don't want to use the ladder to climb on. Oh, that is most from dangerous. behind. From behind. You could fall just as well as you could successfully jump into your opponent or throw him off the ladders. So people tend to prefer to leave the ladder down and slam each other on it. But cross face. The cross face, this could be the end, but we should quickly go to the ropes. He knows, he knows that there is rope escape. He's able to use it. Come on, Harashima. Is he gonna escape? Is he gonna escape? He could tap out or he could get to the rope. No, he's got a chair! He the chair instead. And what? Whoa! With the hardest part of the chair! See, there, the was edge. Not, the edge. there was not a lot of strength behind that swing, but those chairs are heavy and that too big is hard. And as I know very well, all it takes is a little hit in order to cut you and have you bleeding all over the place, not knowing where you are. Oh, what a high kick! 
And reverse run is coming. Reverse franking, poison run by Harashima. Sets him up in the corner. And Somato is coming. Somato is coming. Oh, standing Somato. Somato. Could not break the table though. And the second one, Somato is coming second time. Oh, he crashed. Do you see that, Mike? Harashima's knees could be broken right now. Oh my god! Hitting that hard wooden table. Those tables, wow! Here in Japan, known to be especially hard to break. Yes. I'm the table because they're so hard. Correct, Diego. You are the table. Yes, I'm the table. Going to the top rope. Gonna do pedigree? From the top? Pedigree! Wow, from the second! Now, not only did Harashima's head hit the table, but so did his knees. knees. And there's a lot of damage on those knees. It's certainly missing. Also, his main weapon being that Somato. If his knees are hurt, then he can't do it. Then Sasaki is a lot closer to victory. Wow, Man, what a TLC match! I know how much pain these two guys are in right now. And for Sasaki to be moving as quickly as he is must take a lot. He took a lot of damage to the ribs, took a lot of damage to the head. Yes, a lot of those damage. Wild chair shots, those hard wow. kicks by Harashima. That high kick and that reverse runner. But now he's taking control. He's setting Harashima. What is he gonna do? What is he gonna do? Oh! For good measure, to make sure he stays down. Is he gonna to the top? Now this is the most dangerous. Thing you can it's do in three meters, to go. meters, meter, metros, tres metros. He's going to the top. Now that ladder could fall. No, oh, no, 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 no. He could jump up and throw down. Is he gonna down. fly? Is he gonna fly? Diving elbow from the top. Oh, god. oh my god! The table didn't break. All the impact going straight to Harashima's straight. Up. You can Two. see him. All oh, three. This is it. This is it. You could see Harashima grinding his teeth, trying to stay awake, stay alive, but no. Sasaki puts wow. him away, wins with the diving elbow. What a diving elbow from the top! So Sasaki is successful in this match against Harashima, one of the toughest competitors in the game. This is Sasaki's first singles victory over Harashima. Over? This must mean a lot to him. These men have faced off before, and these men will face it again. Harashima, who always won in their previous singles and titles, this time Sasaki gets it, keeps the extreme title. So, so he the retained the extreme title. What an incredible diving elbow from the top. Oh, look at Harashima, a lot of pain. He's suffering, he's suffering, his ribs. Oh my god. I have so much respect for Harashima. I have, I have shared the ring with him. I, I lost him in singles competition. I know how tough he is. He's so tough. But Sasaki, the charisma, he has a message. What could Sasaki be saying? This can't be good for Harashima. Sasaki on the mic. Delivers he, a message. He's saying that he didn't get a lot of votes at Harashima did in the election because Harashima was number two. Number two, that's right, the second most popular wrestler here in DDT. But, but he didn't, but he doesn't care about that. And also, he's saying that as you, like you, he, maybe he's gonna make fun of him. That's very much who Sasaki is, doesn't care. Normally, both men would show respect to each other, maybe a handshake after such a match, but Sasaki, no, does not care. He's saying, I'm not like you because you're always saying to the fans, oh, thank you for voting for me, thank you for coming for me, thank you for coming to DDT. I'm, I'm not like that. I don't care about that. So, I'm not a person like you, Harashima, he's saying. So where most men would show respect, Sasaki just he chooses this moment to make fun of Harashima. He's making fun. He's saying, oh, I'm sorry, I lost. He doesn't care. He's not Harashima. He's the opposite. See, I, d I don't approve of what Sasaki is doing right now. Oh, what is attacking? Oh, damnation is attacking Harashima. Why is he there doing that? Oh, but Takao Soma is coming to save his friend. Oh, outside. And they continue attacking him. So much damage on Harashima. He's already in Oh, Takao Soma is mad. His, his neck could be broken. But oh! Right to the 
family tissue. Again, this is one half of the tag team champions here in DDT, Harashima. Please say, I'm sorry, Harashima. Say to the fans, I'm sorry. Sasaki saying. He's making fun Slapping of him. him in the ear. So just rude. Just Please say. Oh, that goes with Whoa. a chair. Oh, what a chair shot. There we go. Taka resorting to damnation's tactics, using weapons to get them off, but still, Poli holding him off. Fights back with those strong elbows. Look! No those need. kicks to the face! Endo's trying to stop Takao, but Takao is so mad. When do you look, see look, Takao oh. this angry? Always respectful. All the, the second, the young boy is trying to stop Takao, Soma. Reka, Shimomura. Wow, it's the first time that I see Takao like that. So angry, it took so angry. to hold him back. Higuchi is there too. The biggest one tried to stop Takao Soma, but no, no, it's, there is no way to stop him. Mizuki Watase trying to hold it back. Crazy. All the DNA members trying, trying to, to stop away, Takao. Chasing Damnation with a chair, trying to go into the red locker room, the red corner locker room. But presumably be up Damnation. He's so mad. Whoa. So usually Takao is calm and he Yeah, very so. calm, but he, he has a message. Don't mess with my friends. That's why he was so mad. A very strong bond between him and his partner Harish. Both memories of Smile Squash. What a deal man. That was absolutely insane. It's one of the biggest dangers with those matches is how long you'll take to recover. Daichi Dansoku Dino! なっちゃいけないのかなって自分で勝手に思い込んでた。ファンの人が選ぶ挑戦者を選ぶことができるシリーズだから、そういう意味で私にまだ選手として行けと男色ディーノの最後のタイトルマッチを見たいくらいだった
完全勝利の防衛戦を続ける若き22歳の王者竹下に資格なしどうする男色 D のここで BBQ のファンが選ばなくてもアスリートとして竹下は認められるでしょうでも私はここでしか強化されない色物といえど酸いも甘いもいろんなことがあっただから生きてきた年数の分だけ多くの人とその人たちがついてきてんだわ色物で生きてきたけど気づいたら背中を押されていた今の男色ディーノっていうのは本当に大衆向けになったなと思うもっと尖ってた頃の男色ディーノをリメンバーさせたいですね思えば2人が戦うのは運命だった遡ること10年前観客席にいた少年竹下のファーストキスを奪ったのが男色 D のだったのだ何千人もしくは何万人という人に注意をしてなのかもしれませんけどそのうちの一人にしか過ぎないのかもしれませんけどファーストキスという人生でただ一回だけのチャンスを奪った人間なんですよ僕は本当にあの瞬間から d d k のレスラーになろうと決めたんであの時注意した少年がプロ,プロレスを志す。おさばき日の竹下が私の背中を押すそして今のあんたを倒せる子供には現実を突きつけるのが大事なんです強いやつが勝つっていう少年竹下幸之助には厳しさを見せつけないといけませんねキスから始まったドラマティックドリームは今日完結するメインイベント KOD 無差別級選手権試合挑戦者男色 D の VS 王者竹下幸之助
has to come into this very happy, very excited, looking for me. What can you think of a better scenario, better, better, better story to win the title rather than being elected the most popular wrestler in the yeah. and then becoming champion on that that, list. that will be awesome. Awesome. Yeah, so to be not number one and all the fans love him. Wow. So he's looking for today. This will be an incredible main event. I know that. He was always doing the best matches when he's doing main event. The last one that I saw it was Ishikawa versus Dan Shikidino at Court and Court. Was a fantastic, incredible match. An amazing wrestler. Despite his weird tactics and strange things he does when to get the big message, or just because he enjoys them, he's a very, very good Yes, that's true. And his opponent, member of All Out, the DDT champion, Takeshi Takano Suzuki, is coming. Is that your current tag team partner? My former tag team yes, partner? Yes, your former tag team partner. We are in the same unit. And I, I have to say, he's very strong. He is his face. He is the future of this promotion. At Takeshi. See, this is my question about Takeshi. Tell me. As when does he see being the future and start being the present? Mm, that's very difficult. Maybe he's the present and there is a very good future for him? Who knows? Who knows? Who knows? Tonight, this could be his last. This could be his last title match. Not, wow! Not please don't title. say that. But his current reign is. No, he... don't say that, please. And let all those streamers, the fans, appreciate him a lot. You see, always very calm, always ready, just patient, relaxed. You can see it in his movement. Carefully warms up before his matches. Every single one takes great care of his body. Yes. Again, another one, another another DDT wrestler who takes very good care of his diet. Um, recently uh, took part in a bodybuilding competition. Yes, in the bodybuilding competition, he was. Wow, I remember every single day, very strict diet, drinking no water. He was working so hard for that. You can just see he took his shirt off extremely lean. Barely an ounce of fat on him. Still recovering. He, he. Now Dino is currently weighing in at more than 50 at more than 50 pounds over Takeshita. <laughs> over Takeshita. Tremendous weight advantage. The leanest we've seen Takeshita in the Look at his physique. He's, he's, a, he's a monster. In the course of, I've been wrestling at DDT for just over one year. And oh, one year. In that, in that time, I've seen Takeshita get bigger, gain a lot of muscle mass, and then get a lot leaner, lose all the fat to where he is now, completely chiseled physique. And as you said before, he was part of the Kanto Student Bodybuilding Championship. Imagine that, he, he is a pro wrestling and he is also participating, being part of the bodybuilders. Takes so much discipline and self-control to achieve. Self-control, discipline. You can see the results of his DDT career. And his physics is awesome. Him and Dino oh, looking. Trying to kiss the champ, but no way. Too fast. Early off, starting with this, trying to apply the lip lock. A dangerous lip lock. Maybe Dino wants to remember that first kiss that was 10 years ago. He want to do it here at the Korokon Hall show. Going for it again. Takeshita pushes him away. Now onto the ropes. Pushes his face away. He's trying to Moving kiss him. Moving his hands down. Putting his hands but all there over is a count. chiseled physique. Respecting the rules. Oh, 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 oh. Good. This is the type of context I want. I want a wrestling match. I want them to follow the rules. I want to know who's the better wrestler. I would appreciate it if no one cheated and we could actually find They're out not who is cheat. the better wrestler. I know both of them. They're going to do their best for this match. I don't know. Dan Chukudino known to cheat, known to forget about the rules sometimes. Oh, that's true. We will You're see what You're not allowed to use your clothes in pro wrestling. You should not <laughs> to grab tights. 
You are allowed to put your face in people's buttholes. Oh, don't say that. But still, oh, it, as it. you said before. There we go. Put there you go. What is he doing? Can you explain me that move? Is He's that a progressive move? Test. I don't know. See, I've been taken off Takesh. Uh, sorry, I've been taken on both competitors actually, but Dino several times. I know that when you have a game plan, you have a strategy. When you think you have momentum and you think you're winning, mm. and then he grabs your hand and puts it on his penis. He's trying to kiss him. When he does that, when he kisses you, when he everywhere, every time. Right. And is it legal to use your tool? In the, in the matches, like, use your, your tool, it's, you know what I mean. It's not legal to hit a person's genitals, but as far as putting other people's hands on your own, Matsui doesn't seem to have a problem. Yeah, that. maybe there are... So, it would be intelligent for Dino to keep that as part of his strategy. Because, as I was saying earlier, if you have a plan, if you have momentum, and then he grabs your hand and puts it on his junk, you forget about that plan pretty quickly. Look, is that his plan? He's just trying to kiss Takeshita. He's trying to, to remember the first time that they kissed each other 10 years ago when he was a little boy, when he was a pro wrestling fan. You can see Takeshita, always an intelligent company, has a strategy coming into this. Now, when, he gets, when those memories <laughs> of being kissed get brought back up, his mind is taken out of the game and he's thinking of those kisses whoa, rather whoa, than whoa, whoa. what moves he should be trying to What is this on Dino? Dino's being so technical. Going for a leg lock here, it seems. Wow. Crossing the legs of Takeshita. I didn't know that he's able to do that kind of wrestling. Now you can see Takeshita's how Whoa! What a submission move! Wow, Dino's so surprising today. Maybe not just kissing, maybe real and serious maneuvers? What do you think about this maneuver? Could be one for a bow and arrow lock. Grabs the arms. Has a death lock in. Dan Shoku Jave. Like Mexican Jave? <laughs> Who knows? Whoa, and he's continuing. Taking his back. Could be going for a rear naked choke here. Applies a full Nelson. A full Nelson. Complete control of Takeshita. Almost a wow. twister. Wow, he's taking with control. A full Nelson. Oh. Oh, oh, oh. No, 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 no. He will continue doing wrestling. No, those kind of this things. This is one of Danshoku's favorite positions. He likes to make people uncomfortable. He likes to get them on their stomachs and climb on their backs. But he's continuing with the full nail, so I'm surprised. Going for a different strategy, wow. abdominal stretch. It's like the submission machine. See, Takeshita is an excellent grappler, but that 50 pound Look. weight advantage for Dino has to come into play here. Look at that, he's doing a lot of submissions, taking control. control. And what, a pin? Trying to roll through, pins him. This could be it. Ooh, only. Too. Very close. This Dino is very serious today. This is not what I was expecting. Dino to take control of the grappling this early and controlling Takeshita. I'm surprised. So Every surprised. time Takeshita had control with the grappling, Dino would do something to get Takeshita's head out of the game, putting his hand on his junk or humping him or something. Just taking back control, now stomping on the back of Takeshita. Stomping him. Come on, Takeshita. He's going to... Whoa! Snap suplex. Snaps was very snappy indeed. Just snaps his back on the back. On the mat, sorry. Wow, no. <coughs> Nightmare is Nightmare. coming. Pulls down the trunks. Takeshita moves out of the way. Pushes him. Wow! Frankensteiner. Rarely do you see Takeshita use... Takeshita is using Frankensteiner. Is he going to fly? Normally the bigger man, but now coming off that tremendous weight cut. Takeshita has to use that. That's the reason, feel, you're right. Has to feel just a little bit lighter. Oh. Going for that kissing. Elbow. Elbow. Not phased by I, the I'm, a, I'm, I'm a little bit confused. It's like Dino okay. is in the main event, being so serious, but when there is a chance, he's trying to kiss the champ. What, what he wants? Wants to kiss him or wants the title? I think kissing is part of his strategy. Again, taking Takeshita's head out of the game, getting him distracted, not focused on his game plan, but rather 
on avoiding being kissed. Mm. It's a lot easier to kiss someone than to knock him out with a punch. But if you can use your kisses is in it? order to knock is him it, out. Is it? Do you use that as strategy too? I do not, but having taken on Dino and Ishii as a tag team. Ah, that's true. Yeah. I know that it's a lot easier for Dino to get in those trademark. What is he doing? Tying his hands up? He's using the apron. The apron. Now the, the apron is very tight around the ring. Yeah. Uh, and maybe he's he won't be able to escape. Whoa! If the aprons are loose he's around the so ring, he's so good at the. Do you see that? Your foot can get caught and slip. So those are very tightly put on there. Takeshita is stuck. And you know, he's getting a running start for the kiss. No. <laughs> Makes kiss, up with kiss the pose. The pose. Does not care. Will kiss anything. <laughs> anything. <laughs> But now Dean is taking control and where is he going? I want people to move here. What could he have in mind? What could be... Going to the... Whoa! Oh, throwing him into those chairs. Again, landing on an umbrella. An umbrella? And what is he doing Adding now? Adding extra damage. Ah, uh, he needs some water. Yeah, that's true. He must have been very thirsty. They've been wrestling for a little bit already. Uh, it wasn't water, it oh, was no. a soda. It was sparkling water. Yes, yeah, sparkling water. So she said, <laughs> those, those bubbles hurting Dino's chest. <laughs> <laughs> and now he's gonna. What is he gonna. Oh, breaks the count. Breaks the count. Very intelligent. Again. Oh, look. Say my name. Say my name. He's ha One more time. Now, a count out here would be in Takeshita's advantage because... Oh, he knows what he's gonna do! It's coming! Dino cannot win the title by count out. Now he's having fun! It's his chance! Look, he's so kissing the fans! Kiss on the way. Dino obviously feeling confident. Oh, bueno! Yuki Ueno! Oh no, puts his childhood friend, Yuki Ueno, no, in the come leg. on, Ueno! He's doing that to the poor Ueno! Takeshita is your friend. What are you doing with him? You know, enjoy this. Taking the top. Oh! Oh! What a plancha like the Undertaker. Takeshita landed almost right on his face, taking out Ueno and Dino in the process. Again, those DDT blue, blue mats around the ring are there for protection, but they are old <laughs> and used. They do Don't nothing. say that again. <laughs> they Just offer stop no saying protection. that. Just stop saying that. Takeshita just taking all the damage. <laughs> Stop saying that! Oh them. god! Wow, poor Ueno! He received all the damage in that part of his body. This is the most impressive part on Takeshita. You can see, ooh, when he is in control, oh, Sarah Kick gets completely relaxed. Yes, he's relaxed. Knocks him out and then completely relaxed. Just taking his breath, no tension in his shoulders, in his body. And he's gonna. Hit the blue thunder bomb. A move he learned from El Generico. El Generico, that's true. His debut was with El Generico at Budokan. Yeah. For the Chinko Exploder. Elbows. Elbows and whoa! Just throws him over with a belly belly suplex. Belly belly suplex. Despite that weight advantage, Takeshita is extremely strong. Uh, an experienced power lifter. Oh. Obviously, a lot of strength, able to just fling Dino over his shoulders. He's going to fly. The champ, the champ is gonna fly, but Dino, whoa! He's grabbing, he's grabbing that and throw the champion. Oh, shining, you know, shining, mm, and nightmare. There he is. Removing the chunks. Oh! Nightmare drop! Only two! Now, not only is that a very disturbing, nightmarish maneuver, but he also just jumped and landed right on his head. Whoa. I don't want to receive that move. No. Fighto Ipat! Oh! And now then the pile driver. The Come maneuver Dan Chukudino is the most known for. Wow! What an elbow! And Blue Thunder Bomb! Generico a, style! Ole ole! Only, Only a two count. Only two, my god! 
countered Dino's most powerful maneuver into that trademark Blue Thunder Bomb. Blue Thunder Bomb! I mean, he's going to the top. Knows he's into a completely relaxed, goes on the top. Frog Splash! Oh, Come oh, is it. oh, 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 oh! Gado Clutch! Gado Clutch only two! Gado Clutch, don't you really know he's won with that move many, many times. Rainbow Maker? Rainbow Maker counter with a boot to the face. Whoa, what an extra! No, he moves. He's grabbing again. That is the most important thing in his life. He uses it to flame over his head into an exploder suplex. Backdrop driver! Backdrop driver! You never see Dan Chico Dino do stuff. No, in the never, suplexes. never. Now stuffs his head into the trunks. Like, I stuck there. And Paul Driver. Driver, 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 driver. Drove him right onto his head with that driver. Oh my head driver. Only two driver. Oh, Kick, driver. Kicks out of the pin driver. Oh, this is super driver, my driver friend. Takeshita is out. He's completely knocked out. He had the strength to kick out. And now Wait a second. Slamming. Wait a second. What is Dino doing? He's going to the top to hit. Moonsault. Moonsault. Takeshita, move on. Whoa, what a knee strike. What a knee strike. That's, it. That's strike. it. He's out. You can see it in his eyes looking straight up at the lights. Takeshita, not, not, not his whips about enough to get the pin. Two days. And that pal driver. Wow, Moonsault! Boom, Nick Strike! Now, you are watching this, you are in Takeshita's corner. What are your thoughts at the moment right now? I was surprised, I couldn't believe it! Oh. Is that me? It's you right there. Watch oh, that's hand. true, it's me. What a handsome guy is there. And Dino is fighting back, he's standing, he's gonna do the fight in parts. No, only striking! Both men with equal damage. Equal damage. That That's power true. driver to that knee. Hard elbow. Kisses. Whoa! It. What a knuckle. Kisses it before driving into Takeshita's face. Whoa! Big elbows. Punches. Elbows. Trading strikes. One for one. He's you know, taking control. Knees. He's taking control. No more mind games. No more mind games. Takeshita is taking fighting. control. Oh, he's touching Takeshita. He's trying. Takeshita knock phase. Oh, but he's not happy about it. What an elbow! Throws him against the rope, spinning on oh, it. Duck. And he's taking the back. Ger Whoa! Land right onto his head, folded him over, just crunched his head open. Did you see that? His, 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 his head. Now he knows how much damage he just felt to Dan Shikudino. That's Taking why he's relaxed, catching his breath, knowing he's in control, thinking of his next move, waiting in the corner, maybe for that running boot. Another move he Whoa, does. Yeah, Whoa, yeah, kick. Yeah, Kusa kick. Throws him down. He's gonna do the champ. He's waiting. He's Catching waiting for Dan Shokudino. He's waiting with a running Laria. What a beautiful Laria. Takes him down. This has to be it. Put many, many over. people away with that. Only two times. Put so many people away with a rolling Laria. Only two. Only two. So much motivation by Dan Shokudino. So much heart. And he will take the German suplex. Such a seasoned competitor, Dan Chukudino, had many times. What is this? What is this? La Magistral? No! Gay the Clutch! Gay the Clutch! Grabs the rope! Grabs the rope! The ref! 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 Matsui sees it. Matsui is so good! He's so good at. Dino had to know he was deep in trouble to try to cheat like that this blatantly. He gets tripped. Whoa. Takeshita with the Gay the Clutch! Gay the Clutch! Gay the Clutch! That's Whoa, it. Only kicks out. two! Only two. So close. Now Takeshita is doing Dan Shokudino moves. Going for No! Whoa! Brain Buster dropped him right into his head. Straight look, vertical look, trajectory. Look, he's shaking. He's shaking. Now watching this from Vince ringside, Diego, you had to be worried. You had to know. But the Takeshita champion is trouble, shaking. Right? I was terrified. I'm terrified now. You can see Ueno's childhood, Ueno, Takeshita's childhood friend, just looking on in horror. 
Whoa, it's tried no! What is what's that? And no, no hands from protection, just no driving protection. Chinko right into Takeshita's face. Chinko into the face, and now more Chinko! Is he choking, pulling on the back of his head for extra leverage? Could be choking out, cutting it's off What a submission move! Like. Strangle hold P. This like strangle hold P, submission move! But it's not finished, it's not complete, it's not complete. Now, this is not a blood choke like a triangle, this is an air choke. Takeshita cannot breathe. There is no way to escape. I have seen this submission move and nobody is, can escape. Huh? Oh, 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 what is happening? What is happening? Takeshita is biting Dan Shukudino's. Mm -hmm. Takeshita. Is he doing it? Now this is how bad you have to want to win. You need to not be afraid of biting another man's pee. Takeshita is switching game plans. He's doing Dan Shukudino style. Maybe Takeshita is Dino's... Ooh. Covers it, grabs the leg, steps over. And Gado clutch one more time, grabbing the rope. But Matsui... Full jackknife pin, all his weight is on Takeshita's head. Rolls Ooh. back. Ooh. Rolls and one more time. Gado clutch, fully has it now, fully applied. Ooh. Three. That was three. Is that three? Tres, I know. No, it was two. Only two, oh my god. Match is on, match is still going. Dino in control, Takeshita days. Rainbow Mika! Hits it, gets this kiss. What Takeshita a kiss. being sent back to when he was very young, his first ever kiss. Probably has kissed other people since then. But, being <laughs> thrown back. <laughs> Flashback to that first experience. Taking the trucks off. What a flashback! And he's going to the top to hit a moonsault again. Is he gonna hit a moonsault press? Gets the pin one. This has to be it. Only two. Only two. Oh my Dino. Makoto Oishi always in Dino's corner. Whoa! He took the other one. Jumping in surprise. Took off another pair of trunks. Only the one left. Rainbow trunks. Rainbow Maker and Rainbow Destroyer! Oh. Rainbow Destroyer! It's over! Look at my, my face! Come on, Takeshita! Come on, Takeshita! Oh. Oh. Dino so cannot can believe it! Cannot believe it! He did the Rainbow Destroyer! Now, when you have matches like this, and those are the kinds of matches you always have against Takeshita, where there is a point where you just feel like you have Whoa, to give it the last one. It's everything. You've done every maneuver you know, every technique you could think of, you've hit. Now you're just going to the well, you're taking off the trunks, you're doing everything you can, yeah, whatever you have left. Takeshita is going to the top too. He's gonna hit the German suplex for, from that position. He knows he has to hit those elbows. He has to fight him off. But this could mean the end. What is Dino gonna do? Whoa! Whoa, Yakusaki beep. landed his Chinko right on the middle pole. You are, say, you are saying Chinko so many times. Could you please explain what is Chinko to the fans? Dick, it means, it means <laughs> dick. He Power <laughs> bombs. <laughs> Penis. Cock. Cock. <laughs> so, this is a dick match. Powerbomb brings him back to equal levels. Kiss. Kisses. I guess that elbow. No, kiss. kisses. I guess that's doing that too. Both men trading kisses. Trading kisses. Oh my god. Takeshita showing he is not afraid of anything. Earlier, he showed he was not afraid to bite his penis to get out of the thing. Maybe Takeshita is enjoying this. Maybe Takeshita is enjoying this. Yes, he's having fun. A double penis grab. Grabbing their penises. Both squeezing. A squeeze, a squeeze. Dino, more experience with that maneuver. Not Whoa. He takes his head off with that lariat. Takeshita is back. Takeshita is back. No more hold. Kicks out of one. Dino, just looking at him. Saying, give me more. Give me more. Sounds like, feed me more. <laughs> more elbows, more elbows. Feed me more cock. <laughs> what are you saying? Takeshita with the elbows. Elbow. What an elbow strike. This main event is incredible. Matsu looking on, making sure both competitors are okay to continue. <laughs> Look at Dino. 
He's receiving a lot of damage. But Dino does not care. Only has one thing on his mind. He wants and that the is title. Victory. victory and the title. And maybe one last kick. What a Yakuza kick. And picks him up. German. With the bridge, that perfect it's bridge. Over. <gasps> Kicks out in the last second. Barely gets his shoulder up, but stands back onto his feet. Last Completely second. out of it. He's dazed. He's walking around. He doesn't know where he is. Takeshita's in control. Wow. Big elbow. How many Dino elbows? somehow still oh. crumbles down. It's down. It's over. He's down. He's done. No more for Dan Shoku Dino. Dan Shoku B. Whoa. What is he doing? Takeshita is... Takeshita. Wow, look at that body. Flexing. He's doing Dino style. Pulls him by his trunks. Both men almost nude. Takeshita crosses those arms. That cross arm German suplex. Whoa! Right onto his head. Holds the bridge. One, two, two three. three. What a man was. So much hard. Cross arm German suplex. So much damage. Takeshita, you are awesome, man. That was his ninth title defense. A new record. The ninth new record. Beat EDA for the most title defenses with this historic match. Such a big event for DDT. Legends making their DDT debut, stepping in the, in the DDT ring for the first time. Ultimo Dragon, Suwama, Hideki Suzuki, Abdullah Kobayashi. Abdullah Kobayashi. But this main event was incredible. Look at Dina. Such amazing heart, wow. He's still trying to fight? Or is he gonna do... What? No, he's... Whoa! He's, Look. Say, he's saying, I'm here, man. If you wanna fight, let's do it. He's oh. still showing respect to Keshka. Always respectful. So respectful. Uh, this is pro wrestling. I'm so happy to be here. Such an emotional moment. Emotional moment. Dino, number one in the DDT election, most popular wrestler in DDT. Showing respect to the champion. After a hard fought. Look, Dino, look at Dino, come on. So torn punches. Now Dino, out of it, has to not be completely aware that the match is over right now. What a main event it was. This is DDT. This is DDT Universe. Raising the hand of the champion. The champion, Takeshita Konosuke from All Out. Again, still the champion, still the ace of DDT. The future, Takeshita Konosuke. Has to be proud of that victory. Beating the man who gave him his first kiss. The first kiss. Takeshita has something to say. Takeshita looking to deliver a very important message to Dino. Police, he deserves respect after this match. What is he saying? Takeshita is saying that there was a wall and he destroyed it because Dino was the icon and it was a colorful wall and he destroyed it. And 10 years ago, you gave me my first kiss. I'm so happy about that. Thank you so much. A lot of respect. A lot of respect. It's because you gave me that, that kiss is because I'm here in DDT. That's why I'm the champion. That's why Dan Shuko is DDT icon. Such a historic moment. And in, in DDT, there is Dan Shoko Dino. Such an emotional night in DDT. If you say DDT, there is Ta Takeshita. If there is DDT, there is Dino. And Takeshita is saying that he will do his best from now. 
He's showing respect to the icon, to Dan Shokudino. Dan Shokudino, hands clasped, pressed against his forehead, obviously very tired, completely shaken from this. A lot of damage. Dino's apologizing to the fans because this was the only opportunity that the fans created for him because the fans voted for Dino because he was number one the fans wanted him to get the title it's understandable, a great and honor and he's saying, I'm sorry fans, but I'm so sorry Dino almost in tears, no, completely in tears completely in tears he's apologizing to the fans he's overwhelmed by emotion, Dino he's showing he respect to them nothing to apologize for he fought his heart out. He's crying. I know how he feels. I lost the ticket. Whoa, Dino Everyone Cole. Everyone is saying Dino. Korakorn Hall is for Dan Shoko Dino. He lost the match, but look, listen. All the fans are showing his respect. Obviously, their respect. The most popular wrestling league, they know he's oh. gonna fight again. And remember, he doesn't care. He this is DDT for wrestling. Does not give a damn. Flipping the bird. Walking around, almost nude, Dino style. Wow, I'm surprised. The fans support Dino until the end. Takeshita standing in the ring. And Imabayashi is saying, Congratulations for your defense. But. I have something to tell you. What about the next match, your title match? It will be in December. And the person who will be telling you, there is a message for you, please. Check it. Go <laughs> Cabana. Konnichiwa, Colt Boom Boom Cabana professional wrestler, and it's been a while, it's been a while, but I am here, I am back, and what a show you have been having so far. The main event is coming up, Takashita versus Dino, who will win the championship? We don't know. What I do know is on December 24th, I will be back in DDT, I will be back in Tokyo, Japan, and I I want to challenge the winner. I know you say Colt Cabana is a funny boy, he's a silly goose, but the reality is, is I'm a former two-time NWA World Heavyweight Champion. You don't just win the NWA World Heavyweight Championship, you have to be an amazing wrestler. And the DDT fans know that I am an amazing wrestler. So Dino, Takashita, whoever the winner is, I will see you on December 24th, Corican Hall, main event, Tokyo, Japan. What a Christmas it's going to be for a Jewish boy like me. Arigato gozaimasu. Cole Cabana is coming back to DDT Pro Wrestling and he's facing Takeshi Takonosuke for the title. That's right, world famous Cold Cabana. Wow, I'm so happy about it. Host so, of the famous so podcast, The Art of Wrestling. Happy Cabana is back. A legend, Cold Cabana, back to DDT. And it is decided Cabana versus Takeshi Takanosuke. But he's saying your name. He's saying that you are the strongest foreigner ever and he defeated you. So it doesn't matter who is coming. He will, def he will retain the title. I don't know why he has to say foreigner. I mean, it's a nice compliment, but... Yeah, but just, just, just strongest <laughs> ever would work. I don't know why I have to be limited to foreigners, but... I'll take it. Yeah. Uh, and he's saying that Danshuk is the more scary because, you know, so he doesn't, there is no... No, I don't know. Why is, why is Dino scared? <laughs> you know, because of all the things that you saw. No. He's saying that in DDT, there is Takeshita. And he will do his best to make this company bigger and bigger. So he's been very successful. A long title win by Takeshita. The yes. longest, a lot of most defense. defenses in DDT history. 
he doesn't look like to be he doesn't seem to be slowing down at all could have oh there is so a special message he's saying that he got number seven in the elections that's right and he's saying that personal he's not happy about it is that feeling that hurts a lot because he got number seven he's not happy about it that's understandable as the champion and also he was part of the bodybuilding championship and he couldn't make it he was number 12 in the canto the student bodybuilding and he's saying that he's not happy about it. See, this is the mark of a true champion. Never satisfied no matter he's how not much success he has. A lot of regrets. But he's got a lot of regrets. And he will take those regrets and those feelings. And from now, he will do his best to be the best wrestler. And please, he will be the biggest wrestler in DDT. That's what he's very young, always already on top and always looking to better himself. The sky is the limit. The sky is the limit. He will use all those bad feelings and he, I know it will be possible to do this at the end. So at least the belt up for the champion showing off his physique. Bodybuilding, pro wrestling champion. Wow, look at him. Only 24 years old, 23 years old. Yeah. Very. Look at him. What an incredible mini event it was. I'm so happy to be here with you. It was so fun. We, we say a lot of the stupid things and very good commentaries. And maybe they're gonna get mad at us. No, they are so happy with us. And I hope to see you in the next. Corp and hold. That's right. That's a historic night for DDT. New record for most title defenses. A lot of very, very important debuts. And my first time on Common Carry. Yes, your first time ever! So important. Thank you so much, Diego. I hope to see you in the next one because we have, there is one on this month and we have to do it. So do I. So excited. So what a great show that was. We just saw Kowalski Takeshita retain his title against Dr. Kido in a very, very hard fought match. Now we're going to the next wrestling show. I have no words to describe right. that. Yes, I have only one. Awesome. 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 It was incredible. But what about the next Korokwan show? We have a lot of incredible matches. There will be the first 10 matches. Can you please say it for me? The first man title defense. Wow, ever. And there's one single man. This is not just in DDT, this is the first in tag the man world. tag team title defense. The first 10 man tag team title was won at the last Peter Pan show. Now it's the first defense ever in all of in the world, in, all the star, in, the, in the universe, everywhere. And there is one match that I really want to see, that is a single one, and it is Mike Bailey versus the TNU. What, what do you think about it? So last time Endo and I had a match, I lost. He went on to win the King of DDT tournament. This will be your second singles match. I just saw him lose to Masa. Yes. So I know there is some weakness in his game. I'm confident I can win this and get one and one against Endo. Not that fun. Please but do your best. There's also a big main event for that. Wow, there is cold boom. Oh, no. No. That will be the in December. That's right. I'm so excited. I want to see that now. That's why I'm thinking about it. I'm that. sorry you'll have to wait an extra no, month no, because no. the main event in the next collection hall is Sasaki Daisuke versus Takao Soma for the extreme title. We just saw Takao extreme. hit Daisuke with a chair trying extreme. to save his partner Harashima. Extreme. We don't know the rules now, but we know that Sasaki is always planning 
crazy things, and I think that it will be crazy, could extreme. Be, could be that TLC was incredible. Could be a hardcore match, could be a guitar match, could be Who a knows? anywhere, could be the ropes are on fire match. Wow, but there is only one place that you can see that, and, and it is DDT Universe. Don't forget about that. But before that happened the whole show, there is a show at Shinkiba. Yes, there is a Shinkiba! Damnation versus All Out! Oh, All Out. I'm part of that stable. Is it Damnation? Is it All Out? Yes, there is main event for the titles! Oh, 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 Damnation, All Out! Ishikawa, Hori, Sasaki Daisuke versus Diego Takeshita Akito. Oh, I'm part of that stable. How do you feel? Um, a little bit scary, but I will do my best. And also, there will be a DNA show, and we will be, I will be facing, I'm tagging with Katsumata Shinma, and I will be facing Isami Kodaka with his partner. It will be extreme, very good. So please, watch all of these incredible matches only at DVT Universe. DVTUniverse.com and we'll be with will be you will be the next English recap for the Hopefully. next quarter. Please come one more time. We will be together and we will try to do our best only for you, the DDT fans. Mm, I'll think about it. Oh come on! No, I'll be, I'll be there. Come, come. I'll be there. Uh, I'll be there. Uh, <laughs> so see you next time and thank you so much. Arigato gozaimasu. Gracias. See you next time. Merci beaucoup. We will be waiting for you. Please share all the information. Twitter, Facebook. Remember, DDT Universe. Adios. Au revoir. Get ready.